Hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return of the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All I really take is a little taste. I like girl blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this a probate. You hit the line and try to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. One, too many, I'm going. Two, too crazy, and I got three. bad ones, and they ready. Four. A good time, so now it's in the whip, we left that. Six. Can't remember anything, but I know we got late, late, late. That sugar sweet, you got what I need. Sipping on the potion, all that good emotion. Just my kind of heat, keep it on me, peep. Testing by the potion, love it, Mr. Potion.
Bonsoir. Sorry, wrong thing. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I accidentally unmuted the group, but like you shouldn't be able to hear them anymore. They're just talking about if you should ask someone if you hate them or not. Um, but hello everyone, uh, welcome to session 13 of Throne Top Sands, the Haroma Parade. Um, hiya Mac, hiya Bobby, sorry Patrick, hello Albie, and everyone else that's in chat lurking or vibing or watching the VOD. I'm just going to turn the music down, I don't know if I'm super quiet or super loud. Um, basically if you didn't hear me I just said hello. Um, <laughs> and welcome, welcome to uh, session 13. Um, a few things I just want to um, go over before we start. Uh, thank you to uh, Saffron Gato, um, my name was Taken, and uh, Brayden for helping me find some music for today's session as I'm um, getting the help of some people to help me build the uh, soundtrack for the campaign. And I trust these people with the music and they've, uh, they've been willing to help me uh, pick some of the music for tonight's session. Um, another new thing, uh, there's a thing called a boost train, which is, uh, not a lot of, uh, streamers, not every streamer's got this, it's a, a test feature that they're doing with, um, small streamers, um, I don't know if everyone has got them, I, like, I, um, I know, I like, I got the emails and I've got one, basically, how it works is, when a hype train starts, um, as the levels increase, it helps boost my um, standing in in the um, in no, I wouldn't call it an algorithm. Twitch doesn't really have an algorithm. Um, it boosts my uh, my rating and score, so it pushes me up um, in uh, the leadership, so that I am easier to find for people that are um, looking for D and D or watch similar kind of content as the stuff I stream. So if you do help with a hype train, I hella appreciate it. It makes, it, it helps a lot now, especially because like, I don't know how, if you're, how effective it is, but it's still pretty neat that like, I'm going to be um, able to test this out. Uh, other thing, uh, we have channel point redemptions for stuff like uh, inspiration and health, uh, hit points um, that you guys can gift. Uh, to the players, but also uh, depending on the dungeon that the party goes to today, they uh, or if they go to a dungeon, there will be lair actions, and I'll let you guys know when the lair actions are available. Uh, but there will be channel point redemptions where you can help or hinder the party. And finally, uh, bits and uh, subs um, will also provide uh, extra HP and help support the party for a. Uh, 10 minute uh, for about 10 minutes so that they can just just do better in the in-house and as a as a way to let your support go and help the party and just help everyone <laughs> involved um, but yeah that's everything um, oh one last thing uh, you can see this uh, the fan art here if you want your fan art featured uh, Feel free to send me any fan that you do of the campaign. It, it, it shall be featured, and you'll be your uh, socials will be uh, tagged at the bottom, and uh, you'll get a thank you from me. And if you're cool with it, I would also like to promote that when you guys make some, if you ever make any. Yeah, that's everything. Um, once again, thank you if you're lurking, watching the vod, or just vibing. Um, and I'll uh, see you guys in a hot second. Bye.
Hi there, my name's Lo Nico, and I'm a human bard. It's nice to meet you. I play the shamisen, but I can also play the shinobu flute and taiko drums. As long as my music can make people smile and forget their worries for a while, that's all I ask. My name means Little Seer with stars in her eyes, and it was given to me because I was born the connection to spirits. Fire spirits, especially. I haven't awoken that power yet, but that's why I'm traveling with my friend the Sarah. She's like a big sister to me. Oh, and I'm 14 years old. I'm excited to meet you on the road ahead. Hello everyone, my name is Paimera. I am a tabaxi and a librarian, and I guess kind of an amateur archaeologist as well. I enjoy learning about all of the things that Trileo has to offer us. That's how I found my new friends. I enjoy learning about the world, and they have so much to teach me. Now, my ultimate goal is to find a book that I have been missing for a long time. And if you see it, please let me know, because I need it to finish my collection. I hope that I have more adventures with these great friends, and I will see you all on the road. Goodbye! Hello there. Let me introduce myself. I'm Lothar Show, and I'm a paladin in training at the Kyokai Temple. My duty is to protect Lo Nico and accompany her on her travels. We're going on a road trip. I can't wait. This is going to be so fun. I'm so excited. <clears throat> I mean, I am eager to go on this road trip. This shall be a fortunate learning experience. Yes. I'll be sharing this experience with you. This. My name is Rocky. I come from Bronslau. I grew up there after my parents and I were banished because of who I am. I come back now to, well, save my family's name and train. first memories of silence and being alone in a cold room. I was forged for one purpose, to document the plant life unique to Sherry Leo. So my exchange for work abroad was settled and a family owning a flower shop soon hosted me. As part of the research done in their gardens, we worked on domestically growing, magical gem producing wildflowers. After some time, we made a very promising preliminary success until everything was lost. That fateful night, our home and gardens were raided. I, I still remember how the earth shattered, as did my heart, while each member of my family fell. In the aftermath, days and night faded into each other, and I felt the light of the garden slowly reach inside of me terror at the broken shambles of my body, slowly turning it all back to earth. However, to my surprise, I slowly regained functionality. The plants and flowers that I had cared for seemed to somehow remember my presence, and having taken root inside of me, grew to give me the strength to move once again. While I'm unsure about my purpose, and to whom I owe my existence, Thing I know is that there is hope even in a fragmented self. Whenever I close my eyes, I can always hear the shuffle of the plants and the flowers that continue to sustain me, and I know that I'll never be alone again. Truly, there's something magical about life.
the death? Yeah, 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 her own was the death parade. <laughs> Welcome everyone to session 13 of Hello. Hello. Sands. Hello everyone. Hello. Uh, I'm gonna introduce everyone and then we're gonna go straight into things. Georgia, tell us about yourselves. Uh, hello, I am Georgia, or Lime Green Archer, Lime Green Artist, whichever. I play Lonico, and I am a level 2 human bard. I play the Shamazon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm training shit. to be a Shaman. It actually reminds me of something. Uh, I've got to change the things. Uh, Beth, tell us about yourself. Hello, my name is Pymera. I'm eating fish at the moment. Sorry, my mouth is full. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I am a tabaxi druid, and I have a um, fire elemental baby. Her name is Queen. She is a beard. Uh, we are level three. three? Maybe I don't know. You're level three now. I'm 30 years old, therefore I am in the third stage of my life. Um, <laughs> I have lots of new friends. I like books, and currently... Am chasing a koi fish that spoke to me in my head. Mm -hmm. And Sam. Hello, I am Sam, or the scientist Sam, uh, aka also me as the character Lo-Fi Boy. Um, I am often on Twitch with Gaz or people, so hello, and let's play D&D. <laughs> I have fixed all your things. I just need to change. Yay. My... I don't need to change anything on my end. Oh, oh, wait! I forgot to say. Well, I'm a warforged, uh, or just forged, mm. and I'm a barbarian, and um, I'm a wild magic barbarian. And we did this really cool wild magic table. So I'm really like hyped to rage and roll on this um, cool thing. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but it's just forged because I no wasn't cool. made for war necessarily. So yeah. Yes. Uh, so the war on global warming. What about? <laughs> Sorry. Wow. That's that's the war that he was made for. Ah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Your boy, your boy does like his plants. Yeah. But yeah. Um, just to recap last session. Uh. Low Pymera uh, was out of the equation as she was uh, too busy chasing that uh, koi fish uh, float and what she assumed was she was having a bit of a hallucination and it just uh, <laughs> caught her a little uh, caught her attention so she uh, wandered off it was talking to me I know it was we all heard it <laughs> <laughs> too much cat oh no okay look <laughs> <laughs> it was one time and you'll never let it go <laughs> And um, so Lone Eco and Lo-Fi Boy, along with uh, the uh, mysterious um, hobo, Time and Shiki, uh, explored a haunted house uh, to um, do a quest where they, because they were joining the Adventures Guild. And having exercised uh, the, the, um, the lonely tiefling spirit very peacefully, thanks to uh, uh, Lone Eco, the... Um... Oh, exercise? I yeah, love they... going to the gym. Sorry, guys. Uh, session's cancelled. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that not what we were? <laughs> oh, you meant? Oh, it's a ghost. Yeah, yeah, ghost oh, you yeah. meant like, like big gun ghost boy? Okay. Yeah. yeah okay, exactly. Sorry. Exactly like that. Um, wow. Yeah. So yeah, the um. Oh, and I'm the one on catnip. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> y'all yeah. up here chasing ghosts it said so on the card you you gave them the card <laughs> okay no she gave the quest card to you guys but yeah uh so uh, we're gonna move you guys over to the world map because well another one like the isotope city map because that's where you guys currently are still um and the session ended with uh night falling upon you guys the areas very still compared to the normal um like it normally there's a, a nice warm autumn breeze autumn breeze that uh wafts uh wafted by um a lot across the uh the hours of the day 
but as night falls it, be it becomes to be very still and you can see priests in white robes and uh, uh, masks uh, depicting uh, fish uh, uh, foxes dragons and other uh, and like other familiar uh, familiar beasts uh, just hanging uh, strings with uh, lanterns on them and just casting dancing lights that just flow aimlessly in the air um, and they're just uh, going along the street in front of you guys and you can also see uh, various food stalls uh, parking up along the sides uh, getting ready for the uh, the death uh, the Haram parade parade That's about that. uh, before we move into the street um, I want to go back inside and and pick up book uh that has the letter p in it um for chimera that like mr omano uh would have had in his library mm -hmm. like i'm just shoving the keys back in and running um sifting through all the books and just <laughs> picking the first one that has letter p in it <laughs> go ahead roll perception to see if you can find a book okay. in his house uh, I will add when you go in, you notice that like the um, like the the furniture is still waterlogged. Nothing really like changed uh, after the exercisation. Uh, but uh, the only thing is like it's a lot easier to breathe in there. But like you wouldn't really notice as you're uh. Yeah. Your <laughs> I don't breathe. Breathing is for well um other types of creatures. I can't. <laughs> But yeah, with that, uh, with that twenty-two, you do find a book with uh, the letter P. Um, if it's not called phallic fallacies, I don't want it. It's not called phallic fallacies. <laughs> it's the books are called. Give me a second. I gotta think. <laughs> Just because, like, my my idea was that like it has to have the letter P because of mm. Chimera. Yeah. So it's like, oh look, I found this book. I thought of you because it has the same letter as your name. That's, <laughs> well, that's yeah. how we give gifts people, yeah. right? Yeah. You find the book uh, production magic, using magic oh, cool. to enhance your music in production and the studio. And it looks to be a book on uh, just using magic to enhance. Oh. Wait, production magic using magic to in your studio? Give me a second. Production magic. Magic. Using magic in your music to enhance your studio performance. I've just, don't worry about it, I had to change the uh, title there quickly because it's this sounds cooler. It's a very long title, but like, this is what you find amongst the uh, the various books. Ah! I, 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 hello! Um, whoa! <laughs> There's so many raiders! Hello! Oh, hello, what's happened? Oh, goodness. Oh! Hi, Joe, thank you guys for raiding. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Communist Rapidly. Hi, Allegory. Thank you for following Allegory. And Joe, hello. How's your session? How was your stream? How was all the things you guys were doing? Welcome to Throne Top Sands. We're on session 13. And the um, Lo Fi Boy is just picking up a book. But yeah, that's the book you find Production um, production Magic, using magic in your music to enhance your studio performances. Uh, amongst the various uh, books uh, on um, learning magic and being a bard. And uh, as you're, yeah, as you're like, as you're looking through like for 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 that book, you notice that like you're just throwing books around, and as you're throwing books around, you're jostling the um, the bookshelf, and causing ten books to just start cascading on top of you, and just like dunking your head, and just bopping you down closer to the ground, but moving your gaze towards production uh, production magic book or the production magic book. A reading magic. <laughs> Yay! Awesome. So I uh, found the book and just a random rock 
While you're doing that, hello. Uh, but yeah, outside of the house, uh, you can see that spirit, uh, the tiefling spirit. Um, sh its form has changed to just a plain white fire, just wrapped around uh, this uh, signpost, looking at the the road and the um, the priests preparing for the fray. I'm just gonna change the music. Um, and like when you went to pick up the that pick that I dropped from the spirit, the the forged mm. magic. Pick. I'll just show what that looks like to everyone else. Uh, you have this. You you feel a connection with it. Um, just like link yourself to on towards the the pick itself. Could you roll for me, a arcana for me? Change the music. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Let me pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> oh no! She don't understand magic that much. <laughs> Seven. No worries. When you you pick up the pick and like looking at it, you you can't fully like comprehend what the magic is that resonates from the pick you know you just know that like it's very similar to lo-fi boys umbrella <laughs> and you can see a tiny spirit just like wrapped or hiding under the wrappings of uh, of the handle of the pick um what was under the thing sorry pardon sorry what was under the wrappings it's like a little tiny like uh spirit you just see like a little, <laughs> like a white flame just like looking up at you but then it goes back to hide in into the wrappings and um but you can't fully, like, you don't fully understand what the magic is that, like, is within. Mm. You just know there is something lingering and dormant within the uh, the glass-like object. I, um, I guess I'll just hold it very gently and then put it, put it in my pocket. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> As you I, do, I would come back to the group. Perfect. As you are, um, as you return, night is uh, catching up to you guys very fast, and you notice that uh, you can hear drumming from um, down the road in the direction that the pagoda is coming from, and you can just bear with me, and you can just uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, you can just hear like a hypnotic beat. That syncopates in and out of time, uh, creating a very eccentric rhythm and march, and it it just grows louder and louder as flutes and uh, shamisen strings and bells can be heard jingling along with these drums. As you see a wave of priests in white and red robes moving and dancing up the street, and if I show you guys a handout, oh. just give me a second. Uh, do they have bells yeah, on them? Yeah, uh, yeah, they've got bells just jingling away. Oh, cute. I did not make the handout. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I, I'm going to put it up on uh, the stream, so just give me a second, guys. Uh, I'll quickly okay. make a question now. Um, uh. Sorry, I, sh I should have done this sooner, but I didn't. Oh, uh, in the meantime, I'll just show the book. Um, oh yeah, sorry, just went back inside. Um, picked up this random book for Chimera. Um, uh, just, I was thinking if um, we need to prove to the adventure people... Um, what's the name again of the adventure people? It's the Shreleon oh, branch of the Adventurers Guild. Yeah. There you go. I wanted to make sure that, like... We had proof that, like, she was with us, so... Oh my god, and I'm seeing the art! Yes, and this probably is... in character, I would be seeing the parade. <laughs> yeah, just... you're seeing the parade. 
happening before you. Wee, I love that. And um, but yeah, if I pull the description back up, uh, I'll get to you in a second, Pymer. Um, but yeah, you can see these uh, priests in white and red robes moving and dancing up the street, waving gohei ones and lanterns, and they're just moving extremely energetically and just like floating around with um, and using the music to enhance their dance. And it's uh, almost you can hear like the buskers like just very faintly around the seas playing their own music, but it almost gets it almost like blends in perfectly and like they almost as if like everyone like this was a city-wide performance and everyone knew this one piece of music although you feel it's also more primal and it's more just instinctual if anything there's no like actual the only musicality in this is just like the magic that is pouring out of uh, the music and along with that you can hear shrieking and screaming of creatures just in like alleyways on top of, and on top of buildings as you guys can see the silhouettes of beasts uh just howling and jittering and trying to like drown out the marches but as that's happening the marches are being louder could you all roll uh perceptions for me that's kind of scary but okay go ahead it is perception <laughs> Oh shit. oh shit! Oh shit! And um, primary, you do you have actual dice on you that you could use? Because I know you can't uh, access roll twenty right now. Give me one second. No You've got a plus seven on your perception. You said perception. Yep. Uh -huh. Oh Ooh. shit! <laughs> Two nat twenties and twenty-four. You all are. Uh, you all feel like your senses have become awakened by this primal music, and like you just like taking it, everything in. You can see just the top of these buildings, yokai. And, like you can tell they're yokai because you can like see like they're like covered in like extra eyes, uh, mouths, and they just like have this. Even if they're even though some of them are like very far away, you still can sense that otherworldly magic coming off of them or otherworldly presence coming off of them and like you can even see, you you almost feel like you can tell there are like like you can see the silhouettes of a few ship pattern uh, on the building and you actually see uh, a manhole just lift up for a second as a ship pattern peeks out and you know it's a ship because you can tell it's like you see it's furry orange arm what? you see a ship pattern <laughs> just peek out of a manhole on the road but as soon as it like peeks out, you see the uh, the priest parading a uh, stomp on the uh, manhole and just keep going <laughs> as if nothing just happened. But like the sh yokai and the priest uh, are using noise, basically trying to combat each other, trying to drown out one another. But they, it only just adds to the music. Um, and you can also, and then like as like that's going on, as you see the priest walking, like you can see floats begin to fall, and these like floats on the ground made of like, um, like tissue paper and like material and cloth, while some are magical, and like they're like uh, you can see foxes, fishes, dragons, manticores, snakes, tigers, tanuki, monkeys, peacocks, and eagles, and vultures and cranes, uh, herons and roosters, just flying, swimming, and just dancing in the air, and. <laughs> Pimera, you you guys can spot Pimera uh, chasing uh, a koi fish, <laughs> a koi fish float, and like you can see that she's chasing a big one. But Pimera, you yourself are specifically following a tiny little uh, one that's like a more f uh, that's like flowing in the air instead of uh, dancing on the ground, and you're just pouncing mm -hmm. on it constantly. And like every time you think it's in your grasp, it just slips away. But eventually, you do catch it. But upon catching it, you spot um, standing uh, near a house um, on, um, you can see Loniko. Let me give Pimer that uh, inspiration. Thank you, Fishy. That's Pimer, you... Aww. I'll get into that in a second, actually. Hello, little girl! Did you see me catch the fish? As you... Yeah, you see Loniko there. <laughs> and you just shout this across and you can see time and... 
uh, Lo-Fi Boy uh, on a staircase just watching the parade uh, go by. You, as you catch the fish, it once again slips out your fingers uh, as you get distracted by Lo uh, Lonico. But as it distracts you, you see it swim up your arm and start swirling around your arm and then spinning around you. And as it's spinning, you feel magic within you pour out and it becomes fire that uh, oh, no. crawls <laughs> up your body, chasing, oh, no. chasing the fish. But as it's chasing the fish, you see, although you can see this as well, and uh, by an extension, Lofa, but you can just see this very faintly as she's a bit far away. Uh, below you get you get you you can see this uh, very clearly. You see uh, in between the fire, water, uh, like like a cra like crashing waves, just pour in between the fire, and it's like a dance of fire and water swirling around Pymera as the koi fish begins to swim on the waves, and as soon as it reaches like a peak, you see it just consume Pymera. And then suddenly, you hear a the crashing of water and um, fire swirl next to you, uh, Lone Nico, as Pymera is now there, crouched, holding <laughs> a, koi fi a magical spirit koi fish in her hand that turns into a white fiery uh, flame uh, spirit orb that like just bursts, gifting you inspiration, Pymera. Thank you, Fishy. Holy shit, did you guys see that? I did not do that on purpose. I was over there, and I'm over here. Did you do that? I didn't do that, did you? I know it's by my writing, but it's good to see you. Hi, hello! Okay, so that was some weird shit. Um, I didn't do that on purpose. You now have, But I feel uh, good. You guys feel good? I feel like dancing. You now have Faye touched, Pymera. And yeah, the music does make you feel like you want to dance. Dance along with it. We are vibing. Let's vibe. <laughs> have you realized uh, that the parade is going on, uh, or or were you just chasing the fish all this time? <laughs> oh, oh, and also I have this for you, Pymera. Um, um, it's called Production Magic. Uh, using magic in your music to enhance your studio performance. It had the letter P in it, so I, it made me think of you, since um, y you like books. And your name me. is Chimera. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't. Sh we never got to talk about which book you're looking for, so I, I, I try to make it work. So yeah. here. No, I, w I won't tell you which one I'm looking for because if you've read it, I don't want you to spoil it for me. All right, but like if I would see the title, then you know I could always no, just I give can't. it to you. No, I can't. I can't risk it. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, but it's not this one, right? No, it's it's not this one. But have you read this one? No, I have not. Okay, well, but I well, will I'll take it. I I will add it to my my collection of things, and I I awesome. love. Books. Thank you, Tommy. You got it for me. Yeah. Where did you find it? Uh, in a bookshelf where books are. Well, yes, in generally that's where you would find them. Right. But I meant where. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, um, we completed the mission, and uh, I, I figured that, like, you know, maybe we would have found just this random um, book by accident that fell in my pocket, you know? And I, I wink. Mm. And, and oh. yeah. Oh, so we technically acquired this book. I understand. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I uh, got it. Okay, that's... Yeah, yeah, okay. Why well, I love this. You got it for me? Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Can I use my cool water thing to water your plant? I, like, just kidding. I don't want to set you on fire. That would be bad. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, my, my, I've been wet today already. Um, Actually, I, I need more to, to dry. If we would be around, then... Uh, uh, um, it, that would be nice, actually. Well, oh, um... do you want me to heat you up? I can pull Queen out real quick. She can yeah, get a little yeah, posty yeah. up in here. Whilst yeah, this that, is that happening, can I get my new pick out and just kind of see how it feels and just start sort of tuning my shenzhen? Yeah. Um... Um, as like you begin plucking, uh, while you do that, can everyone roll for me a Arcana or Insight? Um, be able to, and as roll Arcana. Arcana or um, insight. As you're you're plucking, 
you feel like it's it sounds like um a droning metallic tone like just ringing in your ear every now and, then. and like it octave activate octaves the uh, the note that you are tuning and it let me just see how i described it like i wrote down this description what it's, what it's like when, it, when, it, when you play with it and i'm just trying to remember off the top of my head but like i can't get it yeah like it and it feels like just like skipping stone leaping over water um and so glide and it just with ease it just glides over the strings um and like that metallic tone becomes a ethereal note for a moment and um you just feel very comforted by the ease you feel playing with this pick like you it almost feels like like you you you've you already like you, you you're fairly good at the shamsonry but like this feels like you're almost ready to reach a whole nother level of musicality <laughs> with just this as a tool um what do you guys roll 21 22 and 19 perfect you guys as you like are like concentrate as, like, as like you're listening to uh, low nico uh just tuning her shamisen along with music like it, that adds to the whole parade you feel the music has a very similar energy that you get when you're speaking with time and the same energy that his voice gives when he speaks to you guys because um like that that feeling that you feel from like the bottom of your toes to the top of your head just resonating within you um and like, just giving off this strange otherworldly presence and like guess like you're just like taking this all in and like the floats and priests are like um dancing by you see some orbs begin to uh appear in the air and like come out of alleyways and these are all like fire orbs and like they turn into animals uh, some of them have turned into fish some of them have turned into like snakes and like birds you see one specific one that looks like a a dog but then when you get a close look it looks almost like a lion as well um as like it gets closer you realize it's a kamainu it's a a dog like um lion with like a flowing cloud of mane that like burns like those other uh, uh, spirit orbs that you guys have winced and it comes rushing towards you lo-fi boy and then just swirls around you gifting you inspiration as it returns back ah! into the parade and yeah and uh, as uh that's as like a few minutes pass and like uh, there's like a crowd begins to build and people just start like buying um from the stalls around you guys and just watching this event go uh, go about you Give me a second. As like this is going on for like minutes, um, and like it, like it feels like forever, but like in a pleasant way is the way I describe it. Uh -huh. You, there's suddenly a lull in like the amount of dances and marches, and suddenly the entire street is dark, pitch black. You barely, you can't even see. You can only see like five feet uh, around you um, on the ground. You can't see nothing else. What? Okay. And like, um, <laughs> as I'm like, kind of scared. Uh, I just, I just, like, Lo Fi Boy reacts to this and just kind of, like, undoes his umbrella and puts it into Sword and Shield. Like, there's been pretty cool <laughs> things, but, like, this, this is spooky. Okay, continue. But I'm sorry, just, I just had to react. I can't not. <laughs> as soon as, like, you realize it, like, you get that sudden sense of fear in yourself, Lo Fi Boy, you see at the heart of the darkness, in the middle of the road, a single priest dancing uh um dancing along and you notice it, like his robes are like all white but you can see where it would be red you see fire patterns that crawl all the way up and you can see uh his mask is like that of a uh is carved out of wood and it's you know you see it's fire with uh wings just all around it um and like it's like not just like, like it's not just two wings like you could you could if you would count you could see about like 10 12 wings all cascading over one another on this mask, completely obscuring the face as it just like curves around and just like it's ve it's a very elegant ornately looking uh, mask and you can see this person carrying a lantern um that's shaped like a pagoda or shaped like the isotope pagoda behind um or at the beginning of the phrase uh start area and you can see the as the lantern is like uh moving uh and like just 
uh, swaying in the air. You see that the lanterns on the sides in that area light up. And you can see behind this priest a bunch, uh, a crowd following in white sheets and plain masks displaying very basic emotions. Uh, some smiling, some laughing, some crying, some happy, some sad. Just eerily dancing along and following uh, the lantern and this one priest. And as you see that, like you can see more and more of those orbs um, that, like, like that Kamino, uh, Kamino, uh, Kamino spirit, um, just like in the air, chasing. Some of them do move off of the uh, the uh, the crowd and go towards the alleys uh, a lot. And like you can, see, and as you hear them go up into the alleys, you can hear the yokai shrieking and jittering more and more. And. Yeah, and that that is just that as that passes by you, uh, a few more minutes pass, and like that darkness that was there disappears, as um, you just see these priests with uh, ex these expressioned uh, master uh, priests and uh, uh, people wearing these sh plain sheets just walking by, as uh, more musicians follow suit behind them, uh, as the parade um, marches away from you guys and off this uh, this street. And um, you can just see them just turn a corner, uh, taking the parade into a further on into the sea. You say something, Lofobo? Um, uh, in character, I, I just I turn to to everyone and say, um, should we should we follow the parade and see where where they're heading? Um, I don't know. That was kind of weird. You don't don't think that was weird? I thought that was a little weird. You well. Uh, Time, are are um, the yokai still there? Yeah, there's yokai all over the street. See, so, like if you, like with that perception that you guys wrote, you could see that these were like on skyscrapers, like at the heart of the city, and far off, like all over the city, you can hear these coming, these noises. Um, but you hear time just pipe up. It's it's basically the same thing across the entire city. But if you would like to follow, uh, across can... the whole city. Mm -hmm. it, it does the circle you... and see these these I'm sorry we are going to say on Nico oh I was asking um Kaz, can um does Lo know if people can just join in the parade yes uh people can just join in if they want to cool she is just like she was very excited and mesmerized by the whole thing. Um, <laughs> so she's like, just going to turn around and immediately just grab one of Pymer's hands and one of Lo-Fi's boy's hands and just start running and pulling them towards the parade. <laughs> okay, well, guess we're going. All right, little girl, but preventing stranger danger, let's go. <laughs> As you start running, chasing after the parade, Shihi runs along with you. Her bell begins to jingle again, and she just follows um, happily. Time is keeping, doesn't, it keeps his distance almost, just walking behind Oh, so he's not slowly. keeping time with us? <laughs> he, he has his own rhythm, you, you could say. Oh, yeah, he, I got gotcha, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. He just, but yeah, he just follows Vine. He just follows Vine uh, by watching, and you do see that, like, the mask he wears is very similar to those like the people with the plain masks um, that like were following the priest with the um, the, f the winged fire mask. Um, and as you uh, catch up with the parade, are you, is there any specific portion of the parade you'd like to join? Uh, um, one of the kind of louder um, music kind of playing parts. Um, she's just going to be like, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. It takes you a while, but like, although like, cause cause of just on the pure length of like the, the march itself, um, although they're not moving at a, a, a super fast speed, a pace, you do end up catching up to them after like, um, as you just reach your <laughs> like tiring point, I guess you could say, as you like just need to like stop to catch your breath, you you do reach the uh, the front where it's the most lively, and you can just see that them they're following um, the path. Um, the long, the the widest road, 
And if you would like to dance along or play along, uh, please roll performance. Okay, so last session, I tried to clap in tune <laughs> with did. a thing, and I was almost killed for it. Well, <laughs> I was targeted as an enemy because I was trying to do something musical. And um, I guess I'll try to march in beat, because, mm. like, if it goes bad, I'll just be walking. <laughs> but... That's 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 what I'm doing. If it helps. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you could really uh, do with um, some inspiration yeah, you, right you, now. Yeah, you could use if you'd like to. Um, uh, honestly, I'm gonna take it as it is. Um, I. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, uh... I need zero. That's that's pretty juicy. Mm. Yeah, you, <laughs> Hammer, are you dancing along or are you just like following? Uh, we all know that I cannot dance, but I'm gonna boogie anyway. <laughs> Roll for me performance as well. See how well you go. Oh, I wasn't going to perform. I'm just vibing, just, but that's fine. I can no worries if you, if you if you rather just vibe, that's fine too. Yeah, no, I, I can do it. Just Prepare for me. Uh, I should have just vibed. I'll let you keep your twelve uh, there on that uh, performance. Um, primary. You're you, you see Lo going along, and like Lo, you're you're following the rhythm of music. You you're aware that the music doesn't have like any strict pattern, so you know that you can just like come in where you want to and like just move the way you want to. To, and like you're fairly comfortable with that and you can see people on the streets also uh, in a similar fashion they, they don't know some of them like you know are tourists so they don't know how to move so they're just like just dancing how like they would dance but like, like it doesn't look <laughs> <laughs> you you're going and it's you're as elegant as many of the parade uh parade marches as well as you see Pimera, she follows suit and she's almost mimicking you so that she can feel comfortable in the, in this position. As she's not one that usually dances in crowds. And also she's not a very good dancer, as everyone is aware. So she's <laughs> just hoping that... Look, like I make up for it in charm, okay? <laughs> <laughs> by copying low, she's able to make up for that. And po Lo-Fi Boy, he's just tripping over himself as he's trying to like just march to the beat. But like the, the pattern of the drums is just very unregulated. And it's very weird to you, so you just keep just stumbling over like yourself and the music as the yokai just start sh sh shrieking and chittering and uh, hollering louder. As you eventually <laughs> reach <laughs> the um, the city gates, and you notice the city gates are open, and you can see um, there's these along the the length of the uh, the bridge. You can see there's these makeshift uh, Tory gates made, uh, which are those uh, gates that like are like arch doorways with the two banisters on the the top, and like you can see goey ones, uh, which are like those white like paper ones that look like lightning bolts, just hanging off of these um, off of uh, the Tory gates. And these, and you can see that they've got lanterns that like go all the way down the bridge, and you can see the priests just stop at the gates, and then they just all start like. Circling around the entrance and creating a uh, path, and the um, the priests with the fire mask and the um, the 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 people in the white sheets keep walking onwards, uh, and you can see the spirits uh, orbs that like were flowing in the air and the ones that have taken actual forms also follow um, the um, the priest with the white fire mask. But you see the dancers have completely stopped now as um as they give away for the spirits to to make their way down the bridge and towards Lush and Sora. Oh. Wait, Lush and Sora being the river? Yeah. So, um on the map, um where are we at music? uh approximately? Give me a second, I'm just gonna change the music because that was not the right song. Yeah. You are right at the like gate of the Isotope Bridge. 
Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, you guys are right here. You guys have marched basically all the way from your point of the sea, all the way there. Give me a second as I am going to do this. And even if uh, the uh, priests and, and Lomiko and everyone has stopped uh, dancing and whatever, mm -hmm. now now I'm like, I'm, I'm still trying to to march in a certain way. <laughs> um, like, yeah, I'm trying to fit it with the screams of, uh, or the screeches of the yokai now, <laughs> because I didn't understand. I was actually following that. I didn't realize I should follow the music. Mm, yeah. You follow so the wrong, that's why it's yeah the wrong, the wrong lead. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, yeah, you do see uh, Lo Lo does stuff when the, everyone else stops, and she Lo would you have taken uh, to the side of the the um, letting the spirits uh, go past, or would you want to join them uh, along the bridge? Um, I'd probably step back with like the other priests and stuff but just watch the spirits mm -hmm. i'm gonna ask everyone to roll a perception one last time okay um yeah like as like you guys are like watching the um those priests and the the spirits uh just walk away that like that takes like a, a huge chunk of time, almost longer than the entire parade itself was, as it walked, um, walks uh, the entire um, the, the the march, and you just see them walking down the bridge, and like you know, Lonico, that this is to um, this is just like to guide the spirits towards the river so that they can make their way to uh, the Hiroma, which is the, uh, the gate of death. Um. <clears throat> uh, Lo, you're a bit you're more focused on uh, watching just the parade happen and like you you've never seen it like this big before because like you mm. uh, generally the temples have very small versions of these parades and like they're very much more intimate but this you know is, is a city-wide event clearly um lo-fi boy however and Pymer, you see time he was like you know he joined in with um with the people in the white sheets for a moment but um as like but he's right at the back of uh this for a second but, like it's only for like the briefest of second as like he just like, catches himself as uh, uh, noticing what he's doing and then he takes himself to the side mm. and um then he just joins up with you guys again as uh the night as as the the, the parade goers uh start just like um going about and like going to the um the food stores around the, uh, the streets and uh the parade moves towards a more to a less uh marching around the city uh, event and now just a almost like a party in like the like across the entire city trying to make as much noise as it can to drown out the yokai shouting above um the rooftops uh, speaking of which do we understand anything that the yokai are, are, are saying or it's just really just vocal it's just, shouts just noise, it's just noises they're just trying to make as much noise as they physically can to try and drown out the music anything you guys want to do for the rest of the night um how's the parade still going on uh let's probably just focused really heavily on watching the spirits and just saying little blessings mm -hmm. um, so she's very much focused on that really yeah. um, Shiki just takes a seat next to uh, next to you as you're doing those prayers and she jingles like almost in a like hypnotic pattern as well um, just to um, almost as if like she can hear you muttering your prayers and is just accompanying them uh, Lo Fi Boy, Primera, anything you guys want to do? Uh, I'm just vibing, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess. I, I guess I turn to time and say, like. Like. Hey, will the 
this parade be going on for multiple days, or is it just tonight? Just tonight. It generally, um, usually is once a year, but uh, sometimes when there's a high concentration of spirits or the priest notice, there's a, a high fluctuation of just energy. They um, they tend to do these marches more often, but this is the uh, this is fairly normal. That's happening now. So it's like a cleansing ritual mm -hmm. to so that there's less, <clears throat> I guess, spirit energy laying around in the city or something. Yes. And like this isn't just the shit city. This spirits that sometimes just wander in from outside mm -hmm. or nearby. Is there. this like the yearly one, or is this like a necessary one? Like if something weird happened recently that maybe shifted the amount of energy in the world or something crazy like that? Hmm. What day is it? Um, I know you guys don't know IRL. Yeah, we really don't know. <laughs> I, I do have it noted on my notes. Because I believe it's... Is it still low, low, low Nico's birthday, or was that the day before? I can't remember. Uh, I think that was the... Day before. Day before. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure at least one night has passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, the in the morning we had leftover pizza, so oh, it was yeah, the day yeah. before. Um, what's the word? Um, but yeah. Then yeah, uh, you know that this is the annual one. Um, like on the 18th, it's always is one is it all done. Uh, like at some point in the day, it doesn't always be nighttime, but this is the most exciting at night, so they decide to do it at night time. Um, yeah, time just out to, yeah, this is the annual one, but like, there have been, he's seen a few cities have to uh, do do some, almost weekly sometimes. Whoa. I guess it makes sense, considering our, our, our mission for the Adventure League, um, the Adventurers League thing. Um, How did that go, by the way? Huh? How did that go? Was that alright? Did you have fun? Oh, um, I learned that it's important to um, not clap um, and to like say their name properly. Yeah, well, oh. you know, uh, I, I tried clapping to because he was a musical person uh, before. Okay. And yeah. actually now, wait, he turned into, wait, but, um, cause I don't remember if you were there when I, ha I was having this conversation with time, um, earlier today, we kind of like, uh, like had time, um, I, I thought like, all oh, all oh, yokai deserved death and to be like treated like weeds in a garden and just be yeeted from existence. Um, I mean, it's uh, a bit aggressive, but okay. You do hear time, then just say, well, we all go to the same place in the end. So yeah, that's an aggressive office. opinion, but okay. I mean, I was just a bit... I'm, I'm, I'm still a bit confused with what's the current place of yokai in the world. Okay. It, it seems like cleansing rituals like this is kind of like weeding out a garden in in a way so but just mm -hmm. it seems that you don't have to burn all the plants sometimes sometimes it looks like some of the weeds can be relocated like in Lonico's pick hmm also, some weeds, even though they look ugly or they look dangerous, are actually helpful to the environment and the soil. Exactly. And yeah, so, you yeah know, you're mm -hmm. right. Um, it really depends. It's mm -hmm. a bit confusing, though. But um, one thing is that... Oh. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was my... Um, it's something that happens when I have to reset my uh, voice um, thing. Um... It happens very rarely, but it's a, a little manufactured um, fault thing. 
Oh. Don't worry about it. Well, don't say that too uh, loud. They might try to reboot you again. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Um, I guess. So, yeah, that's what we learned, and it went well, and I I think... I Oh, wait! Chimera! Um, and I'd, like, take a Chimera's, like, shoulders. Like, I'm broken now! Like, um... <laughs> You're broken? Yeah. yeah, you do yeah, notice yeah. when he says that. Uh, you see there's a lot more like cracks on his uh, uh, sh uh, ch chassis um, all over his body. Mm -hmm. And like, you see more roots exposed and some even climbing out and like, holding him together. And more leaves. And you notice uh, where his face is, where his uh, left eye normally is, you see a, a red spider lily has grown over that. Uh, that's, that's why Lily is the same flower that's in uh, Lowe's, that's on Lowe's mask, and that's just grown where his eye is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, there was this weird moment where there was this external, but mostly internal pressure, and it's like as if a fruit burst inside of me, but like as if my core burst, and I just feel, I, I, I just. I don't know how to explain it, but before I was, I could see magic, but now it's as if I can feel it. It's very hmm. weird. Does it feel yucky or like tingly or like what's the vibe? It's uh, kind of unpredictable. Like when I've seen creatures sneeze and you don't know where they're going to sneeze, that's how it feels. I feel like there's something like, like almost like itching. To just oh, like anticipation, out. got it. Yeah, yeah it was also exactly. magnetic for a while. Yeah, yeah. we call that urging where I'm from, but uh, yeah. <laughs> As so, Sorry, that happened. Um, wow, that's a lot of stuff. I how wow. Um, I was just chasing a fish, but it sounds like you guys did a lot of stuff. I mean, you look cool. It's like a really fancy eye patch love that for you um thanks i mean i guess if i wouldn't say you're broken you look fine to me well i am further broken is like a strong away. word you know I, I mean if if you were to compare me to my original form and that i was manufactured to be i, I guess it's you could say it's kind of like you know when creatures go through puberty over a long mm -hmm. period of time it's as yeah. if i had that like but in three seconds and now i'm a different person oh that's very fast um, okay um as that's happening um, do you do you sorry, feel different no. like uh, other than the itching tingling kind of like uh, weird magical thing that can explode at any moment kind of ish thing oh. I, I feel normal oh the itching we may have to worry about but i'm not concerned at the moment but um okay yeah that's a lot of stuff what were you doing when that happened um i think it was a weird moment um it was just before raging, but I was trying, I was, and I kind of go silent. As I don't want to talk about it. In okay, the, in, we don't have to talk about it. That's fine. In that moment um, of silence. I would say if you're not feeling yucky um, and you're comfortable with yourself, uh, we all go through changes, and sometimes they are weird, and sometimes they are unexpected, and um, we just kind of have to figure out how to deal with them. And as long as you are okay, and everyone else is okay, then uh, we'll figure it out. It'll be alright. Yeah, I, I think so too. When, um, after you guys finish speaking, you notice time isn't there, but like as soon as like you like realize that you see him just step, step from the side uh, from a cart, and uh, he's holding a few uh, four sticks of uh, dango, which is like these 
three bowls of like green, uh, white, and pink um, treats, and uh, he just comes up to you and hands you one. It's it, it's good luck. And then uh, he pulls out tiny little teacups as well, and then gives you all one. I can always count on you for the good stuff. Do you have any chamomile in there? I'm feeling a little peckish. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. And he pulls out a pouch uh, with some dried chamomile. And he just pout sprinkles it in. And then he puts a uh, amaranth flower into the tea as well. And then pours some hot water on that. <gasps> Thank you, Mr. Time. Uh, uh, little Nico, I have a question. Or, or Time, actually. Or all of you. Yes. Um... Mm -hmm. Remember when we tried to open my mouth and it didn't work? I don't remember this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I remember. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, what time? I'm sorry you weren't there, but um, it, it wasn't a good time. But anyways, um, uh, this is so confusing <laughs> that your name is Time. Um, I mean... I, I was thinking, um, you oh. know, Lonico, how there's spirits in in the Pick and in stuff around us, seeing all the yokai around us right now being agitated. I, I was thinking maybe... It, now that I feel the, this kind of like magical surge inside of me, maybe, maybe if I try to eat the magical aspect of food, maybe I'll I'll get to enjoy it like you do. Uh, you want to try a snack? Is that what they're asking? I mean, it's like if I, I, it's it's an it's something that came that I I just I saw the food time and thank you very much and i saw the yokai and with everything that happened today it just it's an idea that i had um I, I yeah wanna... i'm not I saying try? we can't do it like let's try it sure why not do you want me to just like pour the tea over your leaves or like throw it at you like what do you want to do oh i know loniko um and yeah. i go grab loniko and lift her in the air <laughs> <laughs> No, Nico, I have an idea! Um, you know how, like, you made music and it, it, it summoned the spirit? Um, what if you try to play music to summon the spirit of the food so I can try to eat the spirit and, and taste it? Maybe, like, Maybe that will work. Is there spirits in the food? <laughs> you, do, you do see a little tiny, like, spirits holding on to the, uh, the food. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I could try and play whilst you um, eat. I, I get, we can give it a go. Well, I, I wouldn't eat the f but Would I eat the food? I don't know, I just want to try to eat its spirit to see if it works. Um, maybe the food will be eaten in the process, but that would be a secondary effect. Well, we can we can give it a go. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I really I've been I, I really want to try this. I've been thinking about this for a long time for real. Like, <laughs> are you still holding low in the air? Uh, yeah, I haven't let that go down. <laughs> I'm like, oh right. Well, uh, I'll let you play music, uh, and then I <laughs> then I bring you down. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there, I don't know, a song to do with food? <laughs> Roll history or performance to see if you can remember something. Food. I think there is, um, off the album that, like, you uh, picked up, actually. I think there is. Uh, I need to find out where I have handouts. Probably in. Uh, I, I can find it too. Uh, Peach Boy. Peach Boy. <laughs> For the orange song. <laughs> you begin playing. Is, is there a Peach Boy or, or which one would you like to play? I want to play Peach Boy. Go ahead. <laughs> you start playing with Peach Boy, not realizing like like you being in the moment, like you just like, oh, it's got food in it, so that's got to be like that, 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 that'll do. Uh, you realize like a mid performance like which is fairly passable it's not like you're not like you like you 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 weren't fully in tune when cuz uh, you were still just playing the pick earlier so you're not um yeah. you're still just like you you're trying to get used to like having this extra octave note 
and all those extra. Also, like, this odd concept. <laughs> yeah, of just like having like yeah, cheat. it's mind-boggling almost. <laughs> and, like you um, but then you realize mid-song that like oh, this isn't about food. This is about a boy who like uh, was trying to just escape a place and. He was eating a peach in the story, and that's why it's called Peach Boy. It's got nothing to got do with so like. So caught anything. up by the peaches. Yeah. And um, but like as a time you see time uh holding his uh, cup of tea, and he pulls out a little stick and he just like uh, twacks the uh the cup and it just resonates for a bit as like uh, Lo is performing. You see the spirits that are um under Dango, um just like. F swirl around the skewer and then they just jump off They're these tiny little like white they don't look like fire these ones these ones look more like um like water drops um that like are just constantly falling but like um they waft towards uh lo-fi boy and you just see them just swirl around and uh, looking for a crack in your um in your shell and then they just swim in. And you feel... You feel like you, you, you get... You feel a sweet sensation. You feel like something sweet has touched you. And... Is it consent household? Comforting and like... Almost... Playful. Is like the emotions you feel when... Um, once, like, these these three little uh, spirits um, it, entered. It, I think it worked. It's like... It's not like the pH thing detection. It's... Because it hasn't changed, but... I... There's, like... It's not aroma either, because... It, it's... It's something different. It's... It worked! I, I can taste! That's so cool! They're really good. Time, they're really. No, Nico, I'm, uh, this is so cool. Thank you so much. This wow, is that's great. I've never eaten. Wow. And I had to get a shirt with you guys. Thank you so much. Time just lifts his oh. cup towards you. I'm glad it worked. Does this mean I need to play music whenever you want to eat? Oh, dinner I... and the show! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll figure out a way to to summon the flavor. Summon Spirits. the flavor? I love that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, but I mean, I'm very curious. This is so cool. I, I'm just, I'm just. Enjoy we'll figure that out later, Lonico. I, I'm just really happy right now and enjoying this moment. I'm glad. You're so cute. Wow, well, I yeah. love you. <laughs> As like this is all happening, by the way, it's like you, you realize the time is about like one a.m. and uh, Lo, you feel sleepy <laughs> and like primary. I'd imagine you're. You're growing tired, but time and uh, mm -hmm. love about you too. Uh, or it is almost you, bedtime, yes. <laughs> right. Um, let's let's head back to to the room we we rented. Um, this this was this was a big day. So many emotions. So many things happened. Yeah. Mm. Are you using magical awareness, by the way, uh, Lofi Boy, or was that just you just seeing? I was, I was being ready to like um, magical awareness to the spirits being summoned, the flavor spirits. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make sure that like I had every chance to um, to experience that. Yeah. I got but but if we're going for a long rest, I, I'll, I'll just reset it soon anyway. So. It's all good. Well, yeah, um, as you go towards, um, the, um, the, the adventure's route, uh, in again, you, time, this time, time is, although he's walking at his own pace as well, <laughs> he's, <laughs> his own pace. he's walking a lot faster, 
and Shiki's walking alongside him this time as well. Um, and he's in front of you. When this, as like you guys are walking, like every time, like even if you tried, like as you tried, like walk as fast, he he isn't consciously trying to like walk faster than you guys. But like he generally just has like a very like fast skipping. Hey, step. time. Yes. Wait up. We we, we oh. don't have to rush. The inn's always open. Yeah, you can take your time. He just looks at you, Pymera. <laughs> <laughs> Lo's probably walking quite slowly because she's sleepy. <laughs> hey, now that I think about it, time. We've only seen you at night most of the time. Although we met, ah! at, we met at sunset, I think. At sunset, right. But never exactly. Oh, right. We did spend most of the day. Is it because you're allergic to the sun? Kind of like me with my flowers and there's only so much sun you can take? Not that I know. Um, uh, uh, um, Lo-Fi Boy, you can't just ask people if they are vampires. You have to, like... <laughs> That's rude. I mean, he can't. What? He, he can ask me if he you can't just me. ask someone if they're a vampire. No, well, I am not a vampire. I am a thief. Okay, but I wasn't asking. I was just saying, like, I can... I was just... Uh, uh, okay. Uh, no, I'm not But a you're not, so I didn't... It's not rude then, right? It's like, no, it's, it isn't rude. It's okay. Okay, but are you are you in a rush? Is there something that you need to go? Oh to no, I just do? assumed you you were ready to sleep. So the faster we get to your, that... your bed, the faster you can rest. The faster oh, another day can come. Uh, honestly, and then I just sprint. No, it's okay. It's okay to live. It's okay to slow down sometimes. Not that fast. Oh, oh, <laughs> right. And I awkwardly kind of jog in place, not sure if I should run or walk anymore. <laughs> Shiki begins jogging on the spot with you. <laughs> Lo's probably just at the back. She is <laughs> very tiredly walking. Come, little one. Little girl, would you like me to care over you? Oh, no, it's okay, Miss Pioneer. I'm just sleepy. Okay, for sure. It isn't a long walk, I believe. And, um,. You do eventually reach the adventurous route. Uh, not much time passes. You do notice the parade still going on, but it isn't nearly as loud from the musicians. But you do still hear the yokai shrieking. And as you guys are just about to like reach the adventurous route, you see a manhole open up again. And popping out of its head, you see a shabatan just looking at you guys. But as soon as it sees you, it pops back into the manhole. And Shiki runs over to her and jumps and stomps on the man. Okay, I was going to ask if we were supposed to also stomp on them, but that pretty much answered that question. So. <laughs> These Thanks yokai are really about. something, though. No, it's just Way look more intense in the city. Sorry, go, go, go. <laughs> Lo's probably just going to look sort of back towards where the parade was every now and again. Because mm. she didn't really want to leave, but she's sleepy. <laughs> it's okay. You'll have more in your lifetime. Come. And he just like holds the door open for you guys, because uh, you guys are just at the uh, end. But, like he doesn't enter as well. He just holds the door so that you guys can step through. And uh, if there isn't anything you guys want to say to him, he he just says goodbye. And then he um, you just see him just walk away from the uh, the end. And you, if you oh. look, oh, time. Yes. Um, well, I mean, we rented a room for uh, uh, many people. Um, I, I guess if you want to clean up or, or we probably have like an extra bed. Mm. I'm sure there wouldn't be any problems with that. Oh, it's okay. I, I appreciate the sentiment, but I wouldn't want to impose. Oh, you, you wouldn't. I wouldn't. You were invited just now. We just did it. I know you did, but it's okay. Sorry, you 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 sleep up. Oh, and, and last thing, um, um, oh here, and um, I cough up. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, here, and I just, Definitely. like, give this peach seed, uh, which I feel is very in... Uh, just works very well with, uh, it's an autumn peach blossom, mm. uh, flower, whatever, seed. Um, uh, I am not sure, like, I don't know, since... Anyways, maybe if it helps you find me, or us find you, I'm not sure, but I, I feel like I should be doing this. So, <laughs> take this seed. Thank you for the seed. And he pockets it. Alright. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Would you would you say that time waits for no man? He just turns again. <laughs> you do you hear the faintest of laughs resonate from within you, Pymo, but just you Pymo. The faintest. Aha, I got it that time. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> You just see, you can just see time in like the window as like you guys like as the door shuts. You just see him just walking aimlessly down one of the, uh, the streets nearby. And um, you notice that the uh, the receptionist uh, at the um, at the front isn't that elf man that you've uh, seen before, but uh, this is just a human man with uh, brown unkempt hair, and he looks extremely tired as he's just falling asleep. At the, uh, the front desk, but he doesn't uh, notice you guys coming. You guys just heading up to your room. Yeah. No worries. No. Uh, anything you guys? Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna take a break there, if that's cool with you guys. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start the next session. Uh, next uh, portion of the session right after. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, you... How? how... So like, uh, five, ten minutes? Yeah, five, like... ten minutes, yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, before we get back, uh, I'm going to throw an add-on. Uh, that's for a minute and a half, just so anyone that joins the next half hour doesn't need pre-rolls. Um, if, you're, if you've been lurking, vibing, and chatting, or watching the VOD, thank you so much. We hella appreciate that. Thank you. Um, if you're enjoying the session and want to catch up with the campaign, you can over on YouTube. Uh, you can do that after the session, of course, because... Or you can w uh, watch them and then watch the part of this, and then be caught up to it. As, as, however you want to consume Throne of Top Sense, you can like that. And um, but yeah, we'll catch you in uh, five to minutes. See you guys in a bit. Later. In a bit. Shine a light through a prison full spectrum Pull the curtains back, you're my dimension Lay back and just forget the Star brain in a two-star town and i'ma give it back when i have enough money in my hands enough for the friends and the fam and i owe it all to yahweh lord knows that i couldn't do it my way almost bought a ticket for the fast lane now i'm hopping on a flight to the epiglades to forget the pressure
Mosul. Hi guys, sorry, um, we're actually on break right now, but thank you guys for the raid. Thank you uh, also, Zach, for your raid as well. Uh, thank you guys for bringing in all these amazing people. You guys are absolute beans. Thank you uh, for something like John Connor. So, how you guys doing? How was your How was your stream? Playing it ours. How was it, Carl? How was How was all the things? And also, hello there, four nine one Phantom. We're just currently on a break as um, the party have just. Oh, thank you, Midlife Dice for the follows. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm Casa DM. I normally stream art, but like today is D&D &D day. Uh, we do D a D&D stream every two weeks. Uh, and on the off weeks, I do homebrewing. Uh, but on uh, today's session, the party have witnessed a uh, death festival. Uh, having exercised a uh, haunted house, they've witnessed a cool little um, death parade that the party could part that part partook in. And uh, they like noticed yokai um, and uh, priests basically fighting for uh, <laughs> the um, the spirits of uh the um of the sea hi there treasure and wolf thank you for the follow me yeah. they um they've just done that and they've just uh they're taking a little break in the sleeping in and they're just we're just uh coming gonna be coming off break in a hot second uh so yeah thank you guys for sticking around thank you guys for um joining if uh, you're gonna be sticking around i hella appreciate it if you need to bounce because you're exhausted because of a long stream no worries more than understandable um but thank you guys for sticking around and if you want to uh, join a little uh, community the call of vibe in you can hop over to the discord you can um also find me on uh, my socials instagram uh, and twitter is where i post most of my stuff and if you'd like to catch up with this campaign the throne top sands you can over my youtube um it's a Japanese and Indian inspired uh, campaign, heavily influenced uh, by stuff like anime as well. And just uh, the setting is a high fantasy mix of uh, fantasy and modern. And um, the music is an absolute blast and a vibe and a half. And like this, <laughs> the break music hopefully gives you a feel for the kind of soundscape the campaign has. And if it's something you think that you'd be interested in joining, uh, please do check out the VODs. Uh, it's an absolute blast of a campaign. And like the players I have, Sam, Georgia, Beth and Jacob, they're all stars and um we appreciate you guys for wanting to partake in that if you wish to but yeah uh i'm gonna be here back soon we're just uh we're gonna go back on our break still or we're still on our break um so yeah we'll see you in a hot sec Do 
bonsoir welcome back um thank you guys for raiding thank you playing as allies again for the raid thank you uh zach ramsey for the raid hi zach uh thank you also mcclunky squadron for the host and um dragon wolf and midlife dice thank you for following as well um yeah we have returned um hello <laughs> hello hello <laughs> so i am going to once this song ends, we'll get the ice storm. They'll hear the ice storm music. You guys can't. You guys can hear it. They can't. Um, so yeah, you guys wake up uh, next day around uh, 10 a.m. Um, you wake up to uh, hearing the radio. This is the 10 a.m. news on Karma Radio, and um, you just hear like that, like just flicking, talking, uh, going over a bunch of stuff. Um, but they also mention Sunny. Um, still, uh, his sightings still being, um, heavily, no, uh, his, his attacks being, um, noticed, um, mainly concentrate on the coast of, um, uh, Haida Eo, but also there have apparently been sightings on Kasakawa of, um, golden statues and, just the faintest of earthquakes being um, felt coming from North Haida Eo as well, near the Minagora fields. Oh, but they're nothing, uh, nothing to write home about. They just believe it's just ank eggs and uh, bulets boring. And then like the radio, the news just uh, flicks off after like a few, after going over a few um, bits of the news, ba very basic bits of news, to then just start playing some random uh, pop music. But yeah, it's 10 a.m. Um, a bit of autumn sun uh, just shines through. Uh, you guys feel very tired having been... Or uh, Lo-Fi Boy, I mean, Lo Nico and Primary, you both feel tired. Um, as, like, yesterday was very exhausting. But Lo-Fi Boy, you, you don't sleep. So what were you doing? Right. Um, I, <laughs> as I was in the... Uh, ooh, Gardevoir. Mm. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I just saw you do that. It was I like, know. <laughs> All right, let me do that as well. Yeah, go on. Um... <laughs> he catches Pokemon. You do. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was actually thinking about Rocky and thinking of uh, creating a post for um, what's it called? Yeah, basically, since we don't know enough about Isidro City, and there's, we need, like, resources, which are money, and uh, knowledge about the city, and the legal system, and that it's a bit too much for us to tackle on our own, um, I feel like then um, we should... I I've been thinking all night, kind of like in the... just sitting. Mm. Um... Wait, something's been confusing me, and I know why. Uh, but like, yeah, we should basically uh, just go and create a quest for other people to help us while we do easier quests that are, are at our level, and that we can gain money and pay the people who will help us. I, I said that in a convoluted way, but that is why that I've been thinking about it all night. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Well, yeah, you, um, like, after, like, coming to that conclusion, you see Pimer and uh, Lonico Lo stirring awake, um, in your, uh, comfortable, uh, uh, room. There still are leftover pizzas, by the way, from, uh, <laughs> Ew. Lonico's birthday. Oh! Wait, I get to taste them this time, maybe. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> I'm, Sorry. I would not <laughs> recommend. Yeah, well, you know, I... I I can tell that like food is rotten when it starts to look more like compost. Mm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. This this is almost better for my plants than it is for flavor, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. What are you guys doing this morning? Are you guys just heading um, in there to the receptionist? Yeah, I guess I just uh, my my thoughts are immediately go down to the lobby thing uh, of the Adventures League Inn mm -hmm. to submit our completed mission mm -hmm. and r ask how we can submit uh, a quest. Um, yeah. uh, you see, when you go down, 
that the um, the receptionist is a um, is a tiefling woman um, with pink skin and golden uh, hair are tied up in a very neat bun and you know also hair uh, her horns are like antlers they like curve in and um, curve in around the head this music should be playing so I'm gonna give me a second antlers you said or horns oh, antlers uh, Shrey Leon uh, tieflings their uh, horns are more like antlers I see but yeah, um, they she she um she she uh, she greets you the good morning. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, how can I help you folks? Oh, you're not the same person as yesterday. Nope. Um, the, the uh, shift finished may I ask morning. your name? My name is Sarah. You know, so is that with an H? Yes, Sarah with a H. Awesome. Um, yeah, uh, I've just I uh, wanted to submit um. Uh, Return the key, because uh, we um, successfully oh. uh, created the. I mean, you you, you um, your quest that you you've been sent yeah. on. Could I get your quest card, uh -huh. please, as well? The the quest card, yeah. Yes. Uh, just give me a second, and I pull it out of um, this little uh, container thing uh, that I open for my leg and mm -hmm. take out the. <laughs> Log. Okay, thank you. Uh, she pulls out a stamp and then just stamps it saying um, a review and then she puts it in a pile. Okay, no worries. Um, we'll get that checked. Just make sure everything, you know, the quest is fully completed and to the specs of the um, the um, the client. Um, right. Um, it shouldn't take oh, too long okay. to be fair. It should only be at most an hour. But if, while you wait, you could have breakfast. Uh, seeing as you're members, members you can... You, you are able to enter a dining uh, common room, if you wish. Awesome! Uh, thank you very much. Uh, a, and the very last piece of bit of information uh, before my friends uh, get some food. If we were to submit a quest uh, ourselves uh, for yes. other adventurers, um, is the paperwork done with you or is that um, uh, done elsewhere? Yeah, no, we, I could do that with you, uh, or I can give you a uh, empty form that you can fill in and hand to me, and we can get that organized for you, if you would like. All right, well, if you hand me the paperwork, I can file it up while my friends eat. No worries, thank you. She hands you uh, what looks to be a very basic version of the quest cards that you guys get. Like, the normal quest cards right. are, are, like, uh, just palm-sized, uh, three, I'd say, like, four-inch squares with, like, very tiny writing, because these are, like, full-on sheets of paper with, like, Basically the same questions, like uh, complications, uh, quest name, mm -hmm. uh, basic information, and uh, such and Great. such. And she just hands you... Oh, out. for the star rating, I'm guessing that the Adventure That's... League uh, we, we... will rate it, right? Yes. Yeah, we, we rate awesome. it on, on the, what we believe to be the considered difficulty of the situation. Okay, um... Thank you. I will return this fully, uh... Um, completed and um, in a short while. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. And yeah, she uh, then goes to hold the door open for you guys to let you into the uh, the dining room. And you hear jazz uh, start playing jazz. from within. Mm. As once you get in, you notice a, it's a completely different energy. It's very alive uh, compared to the sleepy uh, reception area and just the hallways where the rooms are. You see this portion is full of adventurers um in like armor robes some of them like like the armor looks like like it could be like it's full plate a uh, little bit of leather like stuff like gambesons and such and like a lot of it is outlandish but you can notice some um some people that look dressed like priests even uh Shrey leon priests uh in the uh, in the t um at these common uh at these at these dining tables and they're all just eating food and just discussing with each, each other and they're generally sitting they look to be like in their own groups so like they you'd assume that you guys would be sitting with just yourselves um and you can see there's a few empty tables around the place and you can see in the corner there's a bar um you can see there's uh waitresses and waiters walking around uh, carrying food and uh, drinks and uh, notepads that are ready to take orders and um and you can see in the in the forest of corners a band playing some some swinging chairs. 
bit. Um, once you get to the table, you see that like there's like the menus in front of you. Menus, um, they've got the logo, like the general like uh, foot, uh, house style of the guild with like those uh, waves, uh, patterns, a uh, gray scale with like red um, details here and there, and like a red dragon board. Opening up, you see that the menus just like have like basic types of breakfasts and like they're not like really descriptive. They just cover like uh, meat breakfast, um, varied breakfast and um this is various like types of like uh, diets but yeah it's um if you guys want to take a seat uh, and um anything you guys are doing while you wait for a waiter uh i am just you think i'm sorry. going to get the berry breakfast do you think they'll give me some chocolate milk Is chocolate milk a common thing, Nico? Uh... Is it something you'd like? Very much so. Uh, then... Well, I've if they had, had it... For it... Well, if not, oh. then I guess apple juice or coffee would be fine, but like... Just in the... I'm in the, I'm in the chocolate milk mood, you know? Well, if... If they do serve this, um... You know, like group deal. Um, I can. You can always just eat my part. Um, I I'm gonna focus on writing down the quest information to uh, help find Rocky. Um, so you like? Yeah, you can count me in. But yeah, I I won't. I I don't wanna like have you. Make play. Uh, you play music, Lonico, around all of these people. I uh, just the last days. <laughs> we've sometimes attracted some attention towards ourselves, which hasn't always been the best thing. So I, uh, I will just focus on this for now. Oh, um, I, I mean, there's already people playing music, but uh, what's the quest you're writing, Mister Lock? By the way, the the quest. Hmm. Oh, did I not talk to? Oh, oh my God! Sorry, I've been in my thoughts like all night. Um, right. Um, so considering the current priorities of our existence, um, I still need to acquire more information about the Kasakawa Company to know if they actually want to reboot me or if it's just a uh, uh, irrational fear um, that I've acquired by accident. And then I, I do want to find a means to go to Kasakawa to find the, um, well, the, the potential survivor of the family that used to host me. But all of these things um, require us to have enough money to go to Kasakawa to be able to travel there. And so all the while that we're trying to have a better reputation in the Adventures League, I'm, I was thinking that like we could probably set up a quest so that people can help us find Rocky um, so that we can do things that are more in our uh, tier of difficulty and, you know, gradually work our way up to eventually finding him and... And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So I thought doing a quest would be a good idea so that People who know the legal system are just the ins and outs of how or what we should expect from this situation. Isn't Rocky Probably. just in prison though? Well, perhaps it's just it's something that I, I want to avoid investigate personally because I feel like we were lucky not to be taken in at the same time since I don't know what's my current standing with the Kasakawa company since I am a Kasakawa product. Um, I just, I don't want to like have to confront the legal or the, um, the that kind of system just yet. Um, just because if I do get rebooted and I lose my memories of everyone, that's worse than being separated. So. Okay, well, first of all, we'll not let them take you, so don't worry about that. Right. 
And I I understand where you're coming from, Mr. Lofi Boy, but I'm not sure Mr. Rocky um, would like other people investigating him. He, he wasn't really... Um, uh, we don't know much about him, but he didn't seem to want to tell people much about himself, I, I suppose. I'm just not sure he would like people investigating him. Um, then I have a weird other idea. What if instead we made a poster and said that, like, his pet rock Michael was missing? Uh, how Maybe that would lead us to Rocky since he's in possession of Michael. But no one would have seen Michael. Would they? I mean, we can give a description. I'm Michael sure someone would be able to read between the lines. Yeah, Michael's pretty specific looking, I feel. Like, there's not many rocks with googly eyes on them. Um, exactly. I feel like that's something you wouldn't forget about, but at the same time, what if he's like... Oh, right. So, okay, I can leave the details vague, but I can just say missing friend, um, legal information required, um, how to navigate, um, finding our lost friend that has been probably taken away legally or illegally question mark <laughs> is that vague enough that we're not what? actually telling information about rocky but maybe yeah. like eventually getting help that we really really need maybe we could um is there like a information desk in the city somewhere or like uh we have a map is there like a law office on the there somewhere maybe we could go talk to someone from the office and see if they would be able to help us or we could be sneaky private investigators and break in and break him out and then run away into the nothingness like super secret spies Seeing the number of genasis that were at, posted only at the gate, I, I'd rather not take that route unless you really, really have to. But okay. we could that's add... fine. Yeah, we can just go talk to a lawyer too. That's cool. Yes, maybe that would be better. We could just find out that way. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to keep our options it. open, you know? Okay. Yeah, we can maybe try to find a lawyer. Maybe at the Department of Magical Verification. I would not recommend asking the people who took him for help with getting him back. <laughs> right. Uh, does... Right. Um... Oh, by the way, are you gonna ever order food, or are we just... <laughs> As you say that, the <laughs> a waiter does come up. Hi, how can I help you? What would you like uh, to eat for breakfast for today? Do you have chocolate milk? You do have chocolate milk, yes. <sighs> can I get a giant glass of chocolate milk and also fruit breakfast? And if you have bacon, can I have bacon? But not flabby bacon, I want it to be extra crispy, but not the way you think extra crispy. Like, if you think you burned it, that's, like, do it a little bit longer and that's what I want. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. Can Looks I also have a large glass of chocolate milk and uh, mm -hmm. some pancakes, please? Any toppings on those pancakes? Uh, strawberries or some fruit. Uh. And what would you like, sir? Oh, right, sorry, I was deep in thought. Um, if you have any, uh, kind of... You know what? Today my pH is pretty good. I will take, um, well, you know what? Flavor is kind of like aroma. If you have anything that's like smoky that I can just smell, I think I will indulge in, in that. Do you have any recommendations? 
We have a smoked salmon. You could definitely sniff my bacon. Oh, that sounded <laughs> weird out of my mouth. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh... The was, bacon has a very aggressive aroma, if you would like to try smelling that. <laughs> <laughs> uh... We have smoked uh, salmon, we have... Um... Oh, right, uh, another question. Uh, how much... Uh, is it on, like... On our, do we have a tab as being part of the Adventures League? Yes, this is this is part of, this is part of your membership. Breakfast is uh, always always free. Oh right, then you know what? Of course, I know we've seen him yesterday, over the limit. but like, if it could just be like some like some kind of like, oh I know. <laughs> okay, you guys remember how I gave like a peach tea to Time, and he always likes tea. What if I okay okay and I turn towards uh, the the person taking our order. I'm gonna take a peach tea. Mm -hmm. Good choice. Yeah, cause it's like time. Time has tea, and it's like the same smell that I gave him. Well, seed, but you know, maybe time tastes like peaches now, but. <laughs> if it helps, your sense sensory receptors would have known he smelled heavily of oranges and lavender. Ah, uh, and lavender. a bit of peach now. <laughs> and, a, and a bit of peach. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah, if you can mix that in with a bit of like uh, orange zest and lavender, um. Uh, dried flowers that would be that would be great but if you don't it's okay no my boy's like i just want to know what time tastes like <laughs> I, I don't know what time tastes like uh, we could smash a clock for you if you like <laughs> you gave time a peach seed and you're like he tastes the peaches <laughs> i've seasoned him <laughs> I'm gonna go back and get some clips from this today. Oh wow. I'm trying so hard not to just laugh so much. Oh my god. Mm. Time takes. <laughs> what was yeah, the other thing you said? Oh, my god. Let's do that. It'll be oh, good. Alright. Yeah, like, if that's everything, then uh, the waiter w went off uh, to get your stuff. What instruments are the jazz musicians playing? Why you gotta ask this? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, you do see one. I, I'll just leave. <laughs> one's playing a uh, a piano. Um, it's like it's like it's a double stacked piano. Well, so it's more keyboard -esque. So it's two like keyboards on top of each other, like they're going. Stacked. Um, one's on a guitar. That you do see someone on a koto actually. Um. And you can see there's obviously there's someone in, uh, back with, on the drums, uh, double bass. Uh, we got one saxophone and a small little brass section as well. Damn, big old band. Mm -hmm, big old band. So, small brass band. But yeah, um, they're playing and like they're playing some pr pretty cool stuff. You actually do recognize they play a few things off uh, in the shadow in the ra shadow in the racial blue shadow. And they play other. Peach Boy. <laughs> You could ask them if you want to be a Peach Boy. No. No, I'm fine. Okay. But yeah, no, they don't play uh, Peach Boy. But they do play Orange Song. And <laughs> uh, there is a singer and they are singing lyrics to it. And like, yeah, this this was the food song. Damn. Um, <laughs> yeah, um... A few minutes pass, and before your food arrives, the uh, the receptionist actually stops by at your table. I um I have your uh, reward. Uh, the review's been uh, coming. Um, there looks to have not been uh, much damage, which is greatly appreciated. Uh, the, the our clients did uh, want to thank you um, greatly for that. Here is your reward: two hundred forty gold. Um, 
thank you for your service uh, and uh, your appending status as official guild members is uh is lifted uh you if there's any quests come in uh that like uh would fit your criteria they will be provided to you uh, at your door or uh, on request at the reception although currently we do not have any quests available oh all right and i am guessing that the um cool um thank you that is 240 total correct yes would you like me to split it for you uh, oh um, yeah i'm sorry can i just for one second um are these is the milk made of Jesus tears? I don't understand. Why is it so expensive? Excuse me? Then why is no, it cost so much? You're not paying no no this this, this no 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 this is your reward, madam. Oh. Okay. Are you, are you okay, madam? Are you, you you seem you seem you still seem very sleepy. If you want we I, I we we could um we we could we could we could uh caffeinate whatever your uh, breakfast uh, oh yeah if you have a cappuccino that would actually be super helpful cool you should get a ca uh, cappuccino for you as well uh I'll, I'll note that down uh but yes uh did you want me to split that 240 gold uh it sure it, or yeah i mean we'll figure it out um and I, I guess she has like a bag or something she, yeah, she pulled out three little bags, and you know she pulls out also this, like, little, um, like an abacus, but it's, uh, got a screen on it. And, uh, she just starts, like, sliding some stuff over. And, uh, that would be 80 gold each, uh, and she hands you, uh, a pouch each. Um, would you like me to, to prepare that for you now, or... Yeah, yeah, we might be going out today, so uh, if you can prepare it, it will help us with our, um, well, things that we do today. I I'm almost done with the, the quest thing, by the way. I I'll come back around at the lobby once we figure it out. Perfect. I'll We'll have your 80 gold each there as well. Thank you. Thank you. And she leaves. And by the time she leaves, your food does arrive, and two wayers are carrying them. Placing um, large chocolate milk uh, fruit breakfast with extra crispy bacon that isn't fatty. Uh, who who's is this? It's by Mera. Oh, uh, and then she just pops it down in front of uh, by Mera. Uh, okay, and, thanks. Uh, no worries. Another large uh, chocolate milk uh, with strawberries, mixed fruit uh, on a pancake. Yes, that's my one. Thank you. you. Are. And smoked salmon with peach tea uh, with an orange zest and dried lavender sprinkled in. If you don't like that salmon, I'll, I'll um, finish it for you if you don't she, want it. She just pops it on the table next to Lo-Fi Boy, assuming it is. Ah, uh, uh, no, that's... Um, well, um, I thank you. I, I just pushed the plate away. Oh. Okay. Uh, but um, but I, I, me, it was the, well, I uh, did the the peach. Is is did, did you, is is this the wrong order? Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, but if 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 someone wants it here, because oh, I no, touched okay. the plate, we we could change it. What well, um. What 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 was what was your correct order? Uh, it's okay. Uh, I'll have it tomorrow. She looks rather. Yeah, upset I don't. And, like... Oh no no, but like it's just I I I was like I was I've been filled with so many aromas. It really cut my hunger. So I'm just I'm, I have a very small uh, sensory stomach, huh? But you said you wanted something smoked. Uh, yeah, you know, no, no uh, well, well, uh, uh, you know what? You could take it with us to go, and you could have it for lunch or dinner. Yeah, I'll that's exactly what I was gonna say. That, that was like. Yeah, we have some takeaway uh, packaging. Okay. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you can just rewrap that in a different t takeaway form, that would be lovely. But with the tea as well, or? 
No, that's it. I'll, I'll, I'll keep. Okay. And she rushes off. She doesn't even like let you like get another word in before she's gone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there, there is your food is given there. Um, eating your food, it's very well made. It's um not presented like it's not meant to be presented super ornately. It's just um, but it's very filling and very hearty. And, like there is like a lot of like the portion size is huge. Um, designed to just basically just fill you up and just like give you uh, give you a burst of energy when for a day of adventure. Uh -huh. Did you know breakfast is the most important meal of the day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually I didn't know that. It, it... Is that yeah, like stars? Shoveling like <laughs> fruit in her mouth. Oh it's my not the like meal of the day. I read that in the book somewhere. Well, yes, my parents would tell me that all the time. Oh, it's I'm a good eating thing that... a lot of pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's good that last <laughs> night you only ate candy because that wasn't an important meal. I, I'm sorry, I'm... you let the little girl only eat candy for dinner? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a source of uh, energy, and she uh, was requiring it, so oh, I spent all the money I had left on candy. Little girl, you're going to rot your teeth out of your head, and then I'm gonna have to take you to the dentist, and they're gonna <laughs> yank them all out of your face. Dentist? Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. And then you won't have any teeth, and you'll look like a weird... Guppy with no hey, teeth. Hey, not having teeth is fine. I don't have any teeth, and I'm very functional and good-looking. Mm -hmm. I think if yes, that's... but you also have gears in your body and things <laughs> that like don't require you to have the teeth for the chomping well, of the stuff. Then I'll just mm -hmm. uh, I will uh, lend my gears to Lonico for. Teeth chomping activities. You know what? Sure. That's fine. You can just baby bird her food for the rest of her life. <laughs> yeah, and I will. Okay, fine. Okay. Do it then. Yeah, well, uh, at first she has her teeth now, so I'll just wait. <laughs> Not one of my I didn't really eat those sweets for dinner. We just were defeating a ghost and I kind of forgot about dinner. Oh, so you didn't eat the doll? You didn't eat any, yeah. We were, we were kind of um, dealing with a, a ghost and then it was the parade. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, fine. I just, you know. I'm supposed to be your guardian or whatever, and here you are doing things you're not supposed to do. Just, you know, if something happens to you, like, I'm in charge of that. It's fine. It's fine. Well, I'm just saying, I've stated my thoughts, and they will not be changed until further information or experiences make my thoughts change over the course of my lifetime. If like there's one scene that was made into an animatic, I would like it to be this one. <laughs> <laughs> Louis just eating her, looking down at her yeah, pancakes like... while she's eating them. <laughs> yeah, like uh, having your breakfast and finishing that. Um, you know, it's like event, like adventurers come and go, uh, having eaten their breakfast, and like they some come in, uh, sit taking their places, and just. Ordering just as big a meal as you guys are. Um, you get your takeaway salmon uh, given to you, a uh, lo-fi boy. And um, eventually, like, like, how long do you like plan on like sitting around? Or were you guys planning? On um, I'm almost done writing up the the thing, and I just want to submit that and eat. No worries. Let's. 
have you uh, head back to the reception. So yeah, she uh, seeing you come up, Sarah pulls out those uh, eighty, uh, those three bags of eighty coins, and then hand you each, and then has a hand read out, uh, reach ready for the pull. Okay, uh, so guys, I just want to uh, read this out loud to you if you're, you think it's all good. Um, so for um, the... Uh, I'm just making sure that the quest card is uh, uh, location... Uh, Estero City... And... Uh, Oh, uh, oh, prerequisites that actually would go there. Um, I just need a minute. Ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, what have you done? Uh, just, no, no, no. I'm, I'm just, uh, correcting some of, uh, my, uh, quest things. Um, okay, complications. Um, uh, discretion no is, um, <laughs> required. <laughs> And um, we do not, and uh, we love a subtle city. Okay. Um, reward. Um, I'm gonna say to be negotiated, uh, and I'm gonna say, um, right now, half of all of our money together, if we just receive 80, 80. 40 times 3, 120 gold plus, and uh, 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 maybe we'll get a revision from uh, the Adventurers League. And client uh, will be, um, I guess, um, I'll ask Sarah to put in our Adventure League number or something. Um, mm -hmm. I sh I'll put in your uh, identification number. Are yours specifically? Uh. Uh, yeah, um, that's okay. Okay. Can I see your, um, your identification card as well? You, sure. you, you would have been given it. You already have this. And then, uh, taking that, she just on. notes down, uh, your number. Thank you. Here you are. Client. All right. Child. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, unless you guys want any uh, modification to this, uh, this is the vague inf legal information quest that we're that we, that basically, yeah, we're requiring. Because um, I looked, I really looked uh, while you guys were looking at the menu and like chocolate milk or bacon milk or I don't remember. There is really no place that has any legal uh, things where we're able to have legal help. Other than places that are actually the sounds like the place that actually took him, so I think this is our best course of action to hire a lawyer. <sighs> yeah, that was uh, okay. very. I support your decision. Okay. Uh, Could you put that in the chat money, well? Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I've had a busy night. I've been thinking about this all night. I'm just kind of out of the way. I'm just the idea of a 15 year old who has 120 plus question mark gold uh, <laughs> needing a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I need a lawyer. Here's some gold. <laughs> What did, uh, what did you want to ask Sarah, sorry? Lo-fi boy? Huh? What did you want to oh, ask Sarah? Oh, right. Uh, did she give us the money? Because I was really focused on, like... Yeah, she gave you your 80 gold each. Oh, right. I noticed the pouch in front of me. I, I take it in. All right. Anything else? Um, <sighs> once this is all verified, you will need um, at least a deposit for the gold. And like if like if you if it's negotiable, then we can uh, once the negotiations are done, we can organize that right after. Right, it's kind of I, I guess in the similar process that like our mission has been reviewed and that the money has been submitted. 
after mm -hmm. the review, I, I was expecting that like the total money can be negotiated based on the review of the actual help that we get. Hmm. Well, you are guild members. It should be fine. I think it'll be fine. All right. All right. Thank you. Hope you have a, a oh. wonderful day. Unless you too, else. Sarah. She just gives you a bow. She gives all the user bow. She is a bit enthusiastic. Right. She does like thwack her head against the desk. God Sarah, you okay? It's 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 okay. It's it's it's, it's okay. And it just turns and you see her just rubbing her head. It's fine. It's, it's okay. Have a good day. Holding it and holding back tears. <laughs> Um, so, do we step outside, have some fresh air, and try to see what we're discovering today? Yeah, I guess I guess so. Uh, stepping outside, um, the streets are as busy as they normally are. You, it almost is as if like the parade didn't even happen. The only like remnants left are like you just see like in the trash. Uh, a few like um like wrappers for like uh various like um packages for like uh sweets and such that like came from the various stores that were that were once here but like now having moved and a few like string uh string wood lights on them here and then like a, the odd dancing light still flowing aimlessly um and you do see uh, the manhole that is in front of the Adventurers uh, League is actually just shifted slightly. So, and it's not fully... Oh no, it escaped! Yet. Nobody was here to stomp on it. No one to stomp. No one to stomp. Mm -mm. What are you guys doing? Um, try to find it. If you want to, um, if you want a perception for me, or investigation, even. Investigation. Oh, wait, wait, what was the other option? Uh, perception or investigation, and you, you and Lofi Boy do have advantage if you want to use that. Hold on, it's loading. No worries. Because, you know, the internet is home. To be fair, Roll 20 has been one lately. I think it's, it's getting a bit bad, to be fair. But like, still. Well, I'm also, you know, on yeah. less than you're, 10 you're... megabytes per second, that so. You know, out here in the state, not the greatest city ever of Sri Lanka, but, you know, Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> Choking. Oh. oh, I didn't mean to do that. I I actually changed the scene. Sorry about that. Um, now it's doing weird, and I don't. I guess I could just. You got a seven on that perception. Oh, that's low Nico. If you want, you can roll like a real dice, and like I'll add okay. you up plus seven. Do you want to see it, or do you? No, it's cool. Trust me. I trust you. Okay. No, oh, I guess I could just do it this way. Oh, okay, hang on. Let's try... Bunk. Roll. One. Love what you rolling as well. You rolling Ten. as well. Oh. oh, man. Oh, sure. Ten. Ten. <laughs> perception or investigation? Uh... I probably perception. Mm -hmm. You got seven on that one. Because I know for sure that one's like a plus seven, which is a lot. Yeah. Well, Lonico and Pyro, you two are still just waking up. So you guys aren't uh, really able to like spot. Like you're, you're just searching around the manhole. But um, Lofi Boy, you... You begin searching the area nearby. Looking frantically for like the Shabbat and that like possibly escaped. Or you assume would be the Shabbat. Let me just put on the investigation music. <laughs> 
where it is. Oh, he's a voice to totally you are. It's a really good playlist. It's I think it's my favorite playlist because of how fun it is. But yeah, uh, you're searching um, frantically around the area. You can't seem to find any signs of like a Shabbaton or like a yokai that's like on the loose and like that's like knocked or like done any like damage uh -huh. around the um around the city. But you do uh, see. Your uh, local hobo sleeping amongst the <laughs> ar around the corner. Do I see him or smell him? You see him. But when uh, you do, when you do get closer to the alley, you do get the 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 expected smell of orange and lavender. Um, as you just see him. And, and you peach. Yeah, you can just see. <laughs> you can just see his horn sticking out of a pile of trash as he's just sleeping on it. He is Peach Boy now. He is. <laughs> Shiki just crawled on top of him as well. Napping. Oh! What a coincidence. Wait, are you telling me... We're, we're just in, right next to the Adventurer's yeah, he, he, uh, he, Inn, right? Yeah, sleeping just around the corner. in like Basically, in what you would assume would be the guild's trash. This is where the guild put their trash. <laughs> we <laughs> offered him a bed! And this is... His... <laughs> I will never, like, I don't need to sleep, but yeah, uh, uh, I'm out of... likes his trash. I just want to kick him in the shoe and be like, hey! So, honestly, Chimera, this is the time for it. Go wild. You kick him in the shoe? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick him right in his shoe and be like, hey! Why you like trash better than us? Could you roll for me a dexterity check, please? No, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll say with advantage, you'd, you you get it. I just want to kick him <laughs> really hard. Not enough to like break his ankle yeah. or anything, but like you know, mm -hmm. like he should definitely wake up. He should. Let's uh, roll with advantage uh, for me. Um, a dexterity check or a strength check. You would have a plus five on your dex and no pluses on your strength. So if you're all 2d20, so. Oh, do you want me to do it again? Two. Oh, did it not go through? Oh. Oh, no, it didn't go through. Nope. Oh, we got the first one. Yeah, eight was the first. Uh... Oh, it's the other way. It's fine, I just suck. It's okay. Yeah! You, oh, do, nice. you get a good kick in on the shin. Ah! Ow! How come you like trash better than us, huh? We don't smell. I didn't say you smelled. I just... Didn't want to come You just want to sleep in the trash? And not hang out with your friends? We had poor, dog, our poor little puppy here, with little bells. She could have been sleeping inside. Where it's nice and warm, and she could have had a bath, and we would brush her fur, and she would look beautiful, but no, instead she's sleeping in the dirt. He's rubbing his shin with one arm, and then with his other, he's uh, stroking Shiki, and after being kicked awake. I, uh... I wouldn't feel welcome, even if you invite, let's say. Well, that's rude. What did we do to make you feel not welcome? I didn't say you did anything. Who did? Yeah, like we told you you could come hang out with us and you told us no and now you're saying that you wouldn't feel welcome if it's the building itself I'll sneak you in through the window or something. I do this cool thing now where I teleport places that I didn't know I could do. That's a thing. That's, that's, a, that's a funky new trick. Um, it is a funky yeah. new trick. I blame the fish, but we can talk why about it. Why are you later. avoiding the subject of saying, like, why you can't... Uh, I was going to answer. To be fair, I'm just waking up. Oh, sorry, time. It's okay. He sits up on the trash. Um, and then he lets Shiki down, and she just starts uh, circling around all your legs. People um, that I once knew don't I I don't have the status I have anymore to uh, 
to deserve the right for a, to, uh, for a warm bed and a place to call home, we could say. Well, that's dumb. You can come hang out with us. And if anybody tries to tell you otherwise, I'll just punch him in the places that they don't like to be punched. Yeah, or, or you can disguise yourself, like, and and just not let people know who you are. Like, I, I'm doing that right now to make sure I'm not being rebooted. You can't be as bad as that. Even if they don't know, I'll know. And that's enough. Um, and then you turn to Pymera. And uh, I don't think these are people that you'd be able to punch so easily as me. Well, I kicked you in the shin, didn't I? So. I was and I'll have you know, I opened up a hole in the space time continuum. So if I can do that, <laughs> I can punch you. Let's not talk about that, Pymera. Oh. But, but it, apparently, like, remember, Lacera kind of left us because of that. It's a, it's a very, it's a complicated situation that, like, I know time knows, but, like, we I'm just see... saying, okay? Like, we could fuck somebody up and stuff. You know? That, that is... mm, I believe you. But just some people you won't, may not be able to have as easy of a time with. Well, still don't like it. You could have hung out with us. Wait, never, no, no, just in a little city, or just like never bed? Like, if we brought a bed outside, would that be okay? Anyway, I can. Okay. I can leave Shreleo, and I still wouldn't be able to call it anywhere home anymore. Whoa. Okay. Um. We don't have to call it the home, it's just a bed, so you don't have to sleep on the ground, in the dirt, with the bugs. You're making the trash the, your bed right now, technically, it's just a concept that, like, we create our own objects and things around us. Mm. No? Well, yeah. yes and no. I, I'm not calling this home, I'm just, this is just a, a, st a little stop in. A place just to, to rest for, for, for a moment. Before I move well, on next. whatever it is that you think that you deserve time, I just want you to know that, like, I haven't felt home in a long time since, well, the things happened where I used to live, and there were times that you made me feel home with your, um, warmth as a person, so I'm just... I just wanted to say I don't feel like it's totally right for you to say that you don't deserve such feelings. It's not up to me. I mean, we can agree to disagree, but like... You yeah. should consider the things you say and, and, and how other people like us view you as well. Because I think that we do count. Well, I'm glad you can call me home and in a different time in a different place, so I'd be happy to call you a home. But this is not the right place, not the right time anymore. That's your decision. Anyways, we we were gonna, like, try to find stuff about Shabbaton or the manhole thing. Mm. It, uh, um... You're, you can do whatever since, you know, home or whatever is nowhere to you, but you're the door's pedantic. always open, time. You're being pedantic, man. I can mm. go where I want, I just can't call anywhere home. Okay. And, like, if I were kind of, like, in a, like, sl not slouch, but just sad lo-fi vibe. <laughs> walks away towards the bad hole and like just like like kind of like grumpily try to tries to kick it open or something or just moving it with his because it was like yeah. half open right yeah it was half open mm -hmm. yeah so he's just like kind of like you know like just nudges it more open and mm -hmm. and 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 starts to descend in it, like, not really knowing what to expect, but just kind of want to leaving the awkwardness of the social context. 
Mm -hmm. Well, I'll ask you to roll perception. Actually, no, I won't let you. You won't need to roll perception. You got 21. Um, in, like, even after all that encounter, like, you, time is silent after that. He doesn't, like, say anything after that. Uh, or to you in particular. Um, but you do notice out of the pocket he popped the, uh, the peach tree, there is a, uh, a stem growing out of it. You do notice. Already? <laughs> Whoa, okay. Did you want to say something, uh, Lonico? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Sam for me. Go on, sorry. Go on. Um, can I like just sort of walk up to to time? Um, and just kind of be like, um, Mister Time, I I know uh, you don't really like to go places where there's lots of people, but you're a friend, and uh, to me and to and um, all of us here and i enjoy spending time with you and seeing you and if you would like i would like to go and uh, get some more dango or sweets or something sometime i know you don't like busy places but it would be nice just to do that again at the very least i know you don't want to go inside places and stuff. I enjoy, I enjoy calling you a friend. All of you. And I, I enjoy your company as well, child. It's okay. I don't, I don't mind spaces. Just... I don't want to be around people more than I should have to anymore. That's okay. Come. You want some dangle hey. now? There's, uh, a stall, there's a stall over there while they're trying to open the manhole. Look up a quick grab. I, I, I would like that very much, yes. <laughs> Come. Uh, but he doesn't walk towards the stall, he just goes towards um, the manhole. But you do see in the corner of your eye, Shiki just uh, jump up onto the stall and then quickly <laughs> snatch one and then rush towards you guys. <laughs> Yes, uh, <laughs> strength, uh, Sam. Strength? Oh, okay. All of us? Oh, no, just, uh, just low pipe boy. <gasps> Strong. <laughs> strength has been provided. <laughs> Strong boy. <laughs> you just, like, pick it up and, like, fling it like a fucking discus. You don't know your strength. You like you just see skid and like skip over the concrete road, and you can see like it almost like panics a few like uh, animals, and you just see one like giant chicken stumbling by, it and like it just like jumps <laughs> as like the 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 manhole just like flings nearby. I just like almost crushed the chicken. It just, like, <laughs> a uh, it just like shrieks at you in your general direction, and then just like, continues right. walking, looking down at you. Um, but you can, yeah, you, you look into the manhole, um, you feel Time's uh, hand on your t uh, shoulder, um, uh, low five boy. Okay. I just look up. What? He just gives you a nod. Oh, okay. And I make my way down? Yeah, just give me a second. Yeah, if you want to go down, I'm going to change the music. And yep. I'm going to give you guys a handout. If I ah. can change the music. When I find have it. I... <laughs> what you have say, I sorry? received Dango? You have, yeah. You, you, you were received. You hear time just whisper to you uh, from within. You might want to eat it before we, uh, we go inside. I'm going to very happily eat my Dango. <laughs> Just rock back on forth on my feet. Mm. Let's get your hand out going. As you make your way down um, some steel steps, put you on 
Suoma. All right, I'm putting out my umbrella to make sure that I don't get any excess uh, water on myself, mm -hmm. dripping from the ceiling. Actually, wait, using the umbrella like an actual umbrella. Why am I? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just change a few things here. Bam, bam. Let me just describe the sewers to you before we uh, continue. Uh, yeah, you make your way down some steel steps that like pang um, on every step as your metal, um, as your as your leather boots um, like step on them, but also your metal hands when they reach for each rung of the ladder, they just reverberate off the, the entire tunnel. And like as everyone goes down. Um, Time goes in last. Um, if I do this immediately, like, even when the manhole opened, like the, the the wave, the smell that just was thrust upon you was awful. But you notice that time, as as soon as you guys reach the bottom, uh, time um, waves his hand, and the smell of sewage and just. Dankness is Dankness. Dankness okay. is, you know, is the best word I can say for it. Is removed and immediately replaced by lavenders and oranges that just like create like a pocket around you guys. Uh, the okay. tunnel itself is very dark, uh, and you can see like the walls are, are stone bricks curved with cracks here and there that, that are just covered in slime and ooze uh, around uh, long pipes that have uh, oxidized and rusted away. Um, the floors are similar stone, and you can see it's like there's a bunch of puddles like with just mess within the puddles and you can see uh the canals uh in places have got um um there's like it's clogged in places that like make it like um that like blocked the water in a certain on certain paths but like also in other places they um like there's just like they uh the the, the water is like about it looks to be like not deep like you can just about see into it it's a it's a murky green but like you can just about about see the bottom of it uh and you can also see around the places like um stone bridges um that, like and like these bridges like also form the can can uh, canals and um you can just see like uh cracked uh and broken uh bits of wood here and there um bah, 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 bah. Every now and then you had the smell of something sweet, odd, or peculiar, or strange just wafted by. Um, and like you can see like this is sometimes attributed to like um, a potion bottle that's been smashed uh, against uh, the stone that's like been that's, that's fallen into the manhole or like fallen or just like um, part of like the canal. And that's just like leaking outwards, uh, changing the color of the water just here and there uh, as the contents of the water has uh, leaked through. And like the pipes you see are like long bars like are all overhead but some of them also like hang uh, at like waist height and uh, bah, 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 bah. yeah uh and you i don't know if all of you can see i think Pimera, you would only be able to see with your dark visions my kitten like a bolts yes Although low Nico does have um, her dancing lights summoned. Yeah, um, yeah, put your light here again. Yeah, with a jingle, you can see just in the corner orange creatures scampering, and you can hear like their footsteps against stone and wood as they rush. And you can hear like something in the water grumble, or something like echoing off the waters grumbling. Um, I think we should try to limit our noise if we can. Wait, that actually, I think. What? Well, ah, that, that that beats the point. I already spoke, but I mean, um, let's try to be sneaky just in case. Um, we shouldn't make too much noise. Thank you so much, Ben. Um. Oh, Ben. When, uh, could you roll stealth if you're trying to be quiet? 
Yes. Just this down. Bear in mind, the love of what you do have advantage. And Pimer also has advantage. Ah, uh, who has advantage? Oh, they uh, gave advantage? Pimera. Pimera and uh, Love Five we do. Uh, cause chat gave you inspiration. Oh, nice. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Could you roll a stealth check for me? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, that was not, as, <laughs> that was not any better. Yeah. <laughs> well. No, it would be really cool is if I could actually see things. That would be nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. someone actually that reminds me actually I'll um give you access to Pimera's uh she who's sharing uh screens for Pimera? Or who would share screens? Oh I can share screens. I shall Okay I'm already uh, here. You said stealth, yes. Well, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Um Merp. click the right one. What do you mean? Okay. So it was already. Do you want me to do it one more time? Oh um, wow. No, uh, Beth. No, I meant like Beth will. I got it. Yeah. Perfect. You got, I got it. it. Cool. You want to roll uh, again? Because you do have advantage if you want to use that. That's up to you. Chimera has so much vision with dark vision. She does, yeah. So much vision. What the Chimera? Your you see things. Would you like a uh, low fi boy? <laughs> huh? Would you like no, a low no, no. fi boy? I oh, will not. One. There... Wow. Let me just say that. Just wow. Just oh. wow. You also. Okay, I think I got it. Look, I got the big sausage fingers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would also like to add. Um... What do y'all want to say? I wanted to say something. I forgot. Oh, uh, chat. Also, you guys have access to um, lair actions now, so you can help or hinder the party if you wish. Um, using those. Chat or you could be nice actions. to us, you know. Exactly. That would be cool. Um, where was we? I just need, I did the wrong thing. There we are. Um, but yeah. You time um you you all try to be stealthy um Pimera you are silent you like avoid every puddle mainly because you don't like touching the water and plus it doesn't help how the water is nasty so you are extremely alert to try to avoid the water and just stepping over everything and making sure that you are stepping in a way where you're footsteps are the least echoey however low is jingling about <laughs> <laughs> in the back and time isn't super stealthy right now as well as he's just like just he looks to be like looking around everywhere um and you see shiki she runs to the other side in between everyone's legs uh, so she runs um to low low boy's side and then he, um, you hear his voice um, coming from within all these. You asked her how I um, used to travel around the city or get into the city, right? Right. Sewers. Uh, the easy oh. tunnel. There's tunnels here and there down to lower city and you can get in from the lower city. But you want to be careful. There is, there's a there's a chimera down here. That's a chimera. Yes, a chimera. I mean, chimera. Mm. It's been, oh. It's been trying to uh, get a bite out of me for a while. But then again, I don't know why. I'm all, all I am is just bones. Why is there a chimera? Wait, excuse me. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean you're just? You're just bones? Yes, I'm. I'm barely any skin. I'm sorry, oh, did you look right. at the mustache before we came down here, or did you just decide to? Well, I only just remembered and realized I should have told you. 
But you guys wanted to go down into the sewers. I see we had uh, a reason to go down here. If you want to uh, well, start moving, by the way, uh, just 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 stay alert. Uh, by the way, someone yeah, will I'm... need. <laughs> I also wanted to say, uh, someone will need to uh, keep an eye on um, the map, but they'll do that next session because I'm gonna finish the. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, uh, for, for those that uh, don't know, I do a thing where my players, um, well, while well, we're doing this now, I normally do on the West marches, uh, but now I'm doing it over for TAS as well. Uh, the players, uh, you guys, if you guys keep, or one of you will be the cartographer, and they'll get an extra bit of XP for uh, map keeping uh, on top of the map. And you guys can. Uh, you. Or, like, there'll be rewards for, like, doing that, depending on if like, we don't do XP. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it, see what's up. But yeah, that's um, <laughs> that's the session. We're gonna end it there. You guys are learning that there's a chimera down here, and time's been using the sewers to uh, run around. Huh. So I'm gonna Very to... interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm gonna move us over to the end. Uh, I mean the uh, the vibe in map, and then I'm gonna put the uh, the end card music. If you guys just give me the briefest of moments. Roll 20, roll 20, roll 20. There we are. And we play it. But yeah, thank you guys for playing. I, I hella appreciate it. Thank you for thank this you. <laughs> very cute, fun little session. Yeah. It was so nice to, to be able to play with you, Chimera. Like, mm. I just poured tea everywhere. <laughs> but yes, Beth. No, that uh, was actually yeah. We've missed you so much. Guys. It's uh, nice to see you back for uh, for the sessions. Yeah. Um, Life be crazy. You know what I'm saying? It do be. It do be. Mm -hmm. Like all many, so many koi fishes. No. So many <laughs> koi fish for distract. And and chat as well. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, if you've been lurking, watching the VOD, or uh, just just vibing um, in chat, thank you so much. We hella appreciate it. Yeah, and whoever, whoever raided us earlier, I can't see it, so I don't know who it was, yeah, but we, thanks. Yeah, we had a few, yeah. We had uh, Zach Ramsey, uh, playing at uh, Allies, and Joe Dirt. Wow. And yeah, um, and yeah, Ben, um, yeah, we, we, we're going to be doing the uh, TAS uh, poster challenge uh, too uh, soon. <laughs> And that will be, uh, we're going to like line it up so it's, um, it'll end on the anniversary of Throne Top Sands as well, which will be really cool, I think. Uh, but we'll have that, we'll have that for next session. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for playing. Thank you again, Ben, for the, the Prime sub. I hello appreciate it. Um, to those who don't know, we have a Discord. Sorry, go on, uh, Sam. Oh, no, just, um, yeah, so the Discord is cool because, you know, we sometimes hang out there, but um, the other thing happening is um, what did I want to say that like um, no, I just I just wanted to thank you for DMing and and just like and everyone for playing because it was a really nice session and it was a very cute session. And yeah, like, uh, and I just, Ben, I just saw what you wrote also, and yeah, like, uh, we should probably remove that now. Um, uh, it was in a oh. time in the past that we did this uh, funny drawing that now isn't any fun anymore, so, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, thank you guys, uh, again. Uh, bop, bop, bop. you guys want to say anything before we finish, Georgia? Uh, thank you for watching. I'm very sleepy, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I realize, like, uh, like, oh, we should be, should be finishing up soon. But I'm really excited for next time when we get to battle and I get to rage and have a mm. magical effect appear from the wild magic table that we've worked so hard on. Yes, I. And I gotta show well, that. I decided I'm going to prove the time that I can kick anyone in any circumstance, and I will protect him with my kicks. <laughs> He appreciates that. 
um what was i gonna say uh, bah, 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 bah. But yeah um i we will actually uh, next sunday uh, i'll be looking at Sa me and sam or i i will be looking at sam's so wild magic table uh and maybe if we're lucky we could have a side to sam with us too who knows um yeah. <laughs> well we'll see uh for that next uh next sunday uh beth you want to tell us about anything I missed all of you very much, but hopefully I should be more regular now. Um, sorry for the bacon sniffing. It's okay. <laughs> thing. No, it just, it just, it just came thing. out of my face, and I. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thank you, Case, for helping me decompress. I needed a D and D session with my fave friends. Always a pleasure. Beth. Always a pleasure. Um, yeah. And Sam. I missed you guys so much. Mm, and uh, yeah, thanks to anybody who was watching and hanging out. We appreciate you. Sam, you wanna? Same thing. Sam always makes me cry. He's gonna uh, be limited to yeah. like two minutes is words. the amount of time you get to speak. <laughs> But no, yeah, no, just, uh, no, I've already said things, like, um, like, I'm also getting a bit tired, but it was a fun session, and it was really, really nice, and I'm really looking forward to the next one, and to discover, and maybe, you know, convince time over time, oh, whoa, that <laughs> was a funny sentence, but that, like, maybe he's allowed to have some kind of home, because... He deserves friendship. He's been very nice and, um, you know, yes. like home is where, where you make home. So friendship. He, he can just make the home with us and he'll be welcomed. But, you know, character arc and development, something, yada, yada, yeah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I want. There's nothing else. Just thank you and see you soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah. That's that's all the things. We're gonna go right into Hi Demi uh, Chan. So uh, let's get that going. Um. Thank and you again. If like, oh, sorry, sorry. But if you if you are like us and that you also need a little break, feel free also to you know take whatever time you need for yourself. Mm. Um. And yeah. And yeah, like. I mean, there's a Discord as well. Like, if you just need someone to talk to or anything, or you need just company, I'm always around. I'm always vibing. Uh, I'm usually in VCs. So, if, or if you just need, just just a, just a cool little space to hang and like, or join in on some uh, D and D uh, in trailer, or you can join the Discord. It's a cool D and D night community, and there's some amazing, sweet people there too. And you can hop over there to to go check it out. Um, if you want to see any of my art or my um, socials, there's my Instagram and my Twitter there. And um, if you want to catch up on the entire campaign, you can over on my YouTube there. Um, we can get the raid message, which is this. <laughs> it's just that we're going to hit him with a vibe check. We should have it be thematical every time. But, like I can never think of something that's relevant from like what we, some of the things that happened. I think that's appropriate. I mean... Like sewer vibe check. That's like super awkward. So yeah. I feel like just vibe check well, is that's good. Enough. The um the festival, but like I couldn't. I can't think of anything like that. Like can be said about that. But yeah. Um. There we are. So we're gonna have to. We've got ten seconds. So bye bye everyone. Copy the message quick. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. And feats of strength. Oh my god, I just got a raid. Hi, 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 everybody. How are you all doing today? Vibe check. Hey.